Esa niña no se aguanta. Ey. Quiere todo porque el pussy sabe aguanta. Si la dejas por pendejo, no se pasa. Bitch, girl, you already know Snow the product. I'm here with J-Rocks and Tony Ramiti. It is fucking amazing. We couldn't even do that. I couldn't even fucking not laugh. But no, seriously, Tony is coming, but she's stuck in traffic. J-Rocks <laughs> made sure to leave in advance, so she's here. No, we're not just <laughs> no shit, <Tony. laughs> we, lo- we love that. Thank you so much. And, you know, we love Tony, too. She- it's her second time coming, so this is your first time. So you have yeah. to show up on time. <laughs> Next time, you're going to be late. Next time, you're going to be late. Probably. You'll be like, hey, I'm good, right? But um, you you probably wanted to play with the chickens, the baby chickens. What did you think about them? Um, I think they're super cute. I wish I could play with them, but they don't let me touch them. So <laughs> they're acting stank. Ever since they grew a little bit, they grew a couple stank. inches, and they're like, excuse yeah. the fuck they're out like, of me. I'm the next silky Beyonce. Right. They're all playing. <laughs> no, they really were running away. They were. I was leaving them at the studio, and they pooped all over my studio rug. We had to get it out. Ido and Yeo were power washing it today. We were cleaning up the studio because I was like, hey, just in case J Rocks and Tony want to get in the studio, you know, I don't want to fucking take them over there. It smells like chicken. So I brought them to the podcast room, so the podcast room smells like chicken. <laughs> yeah. You know, you gotta Smart. have st- strategy. Compromise. In, you know. Yeah. But how y'all feeling? How's everybody? I'm feeling great. I answered my own question. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, how's everyone actually? <laughs> actually, let's talk about me real quick. <laughs> Sorry. No. All right, go. Somebody else talk. I'm going to take a shot. Oh, my God. Um, I'm doing good. I'm excited. You know, I don't really do podcasts like this, so this is dope. Oh, <laughs> like do, it. Not. Oh, <laughs> do you like it? Do you like the pod? Is, is we so far? Yeah, it would be more fun if I was 21, but it's still chilling. You feel me? It's still cool. You yeah, know, it's, it's good. Fun. It's all good. <laughs> I'll have the fun for you. I'll let you know how great I feel. And, you know, <laughs> that's it. No. Um. Yeah, I'm fucking excited. I think we've been... um. We've been doing a lot of work around the ranch lately, and then you and like you and I, we just saw each other at fucking Hollywood Horror Nights. Yup. How was that? Were you scared? Um, no, not at all. <laughs> it wasn't that scary. Yeah. It actually wasn't that scary, for real. It wasn't. It wasn't. Like, and Snow didn't want to get on any of the scary stuff neither, so. First of all, I did. The fucking the the the, the what was it? The one that that we barely got on and the shit was over. <laughs> The, the, the mummy, mummy one? Oh, the yeah. Mu- that the was mummy like two one? seconds. No, we <laughs> were just screaming. We was like, that's it? It turns around and I'm like, oh, it's about to go backwards or something. That's just, they're like, all right, get off. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? It I was preparing way too much for that ride. It <laughs> took her longer to try to get me to take my fucking beanie off than the actual <laughs> yeah. fucking ride. Cole was so scared. She was I was. <laughs> I was waiting for it to be scared. And then it was, and I was like, this is dumb. Right. I was like, all right. <clears throat> the, Chucky, the Chucky house, I think, was like, I you know, whatever. I oh, after you yeah. left, we went on one more. Oh, and that one, that one was not scary. And I'll <laughs> tell you guys, in a little bit, I'm going to tell y'all what happened afterward. After you left, girl, I'm glad you left. <laughs> <laughs> that was the Chucky one where you were just like... There and then you were just I was, like... I was, no, straight. I was focused. It was focused. that the Chucky one? No, you went on the Chucky one. Yeah, the Chucky no, I think one, it was I feel the like Chucky. Cause Chucky was the last one she was on. <clears throat> then we went so on some other one. one after that. Mm-hmm. That one, I was just oh, yeah, looking at the back of that bitch's head the whole time. I was like, I'm going to beat this bitch up. <laughs> but I didn't. She's like, where this bitch at? Oh, Progress. my God. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you guys a little bit about that, you know. We're not going to we're not gonna spill the beans too early. <laughs> I like to be lit when I open my mouth about things I shouldn't be talking about on the internet. And I can blame it on... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, but... What's going on? What, what are y'all fighting over here? Edo and Jamie? The two Virgos? She's going to stand the whole time. Oh, a chair? Oh nice! Oh, he's being caring. <laughs> he said no. He's like, I'm not changing it again. Yeah, so get your chair now. That's what he actually. Said. Wow, but that's very Virgo of y'all yes. both. I would love to see y'all battle each other. Like Why? rap. What sign are you? Huh? Uh, Libra. Oh okay. Oh, nice. I love Libras. Your sister. My sister and my mom. It's your birthday <laughs> soon, or did it just pass? Uh, it's in October. Okay. Yeah, October is. Uh, no, of. September 20, I think, to October 20-something. Somebody yeah, said something like there's that. a bird? Where the fuck is a bird at? A bird. Me. <laughs> I'm a pigeon. Oh. Actually. I'm <laughs> pig. Um, what sign is everybody in the... This? <laughs> what sign is everybody up here? I'm a Virgo. Well, I know I'm an Aries. Mm-hmm. Cancer. Uh, Virgo, Taurus. Virgo, Taurus. Oh, Layla's an Aries, too. My baby girl. Um, You're an Aries? Alyssa, what are you again? Me? Pisces. Oh, no, I'm a Libra. You're a Libra. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. Well, now that we all got to the first base. <laughs> <laughs> Great. What does that say about us? I don't know very much about, I don't know very much about Libras, but I know Justine and I like Justine. Libras are the sister sign of cancer. Really? Oh. I think so. They're like, I love that. whatever they say, parallel, not opposite, parallel. 
parallel signs. Really? Mm-hmm. I've never heard that. I mean, oh. great, but I'm just saying, like, that's dope. Um, like, I, just, I knew I liked them for a reason. No, there's some signs that I just don't, you know, it's like, I feel like you always hear of, like, you know, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, I don't know. Yeah. It well, that's because it's like, you based know, cancer on... Cancer super popular. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh. September, Virgos are, very, are a very common thing because nine months before that is Christmas and New Year, so... Everybody fuck Making cold, babies. Cold and cuddling. <laughs> <Girl>. <laughs> So it's like that's you can always tell those are the things. Her dad is like her dadager and shit. Oh is he yeah, gonna hear me talking he's probably watching us like, right now. Don't. What should we not talk about in front of your dad? Right What's now? up, dad? Um, dad, yeah. stop watching. I mean, I don't know. Just like <laughs> imagine like your dad was watching. I guess like you nah. know. Fuck my dad. No, I'm joking. Oh, no. <laughs> my dad. Yeah, first of all, not all of us got a dad. No, <laughs> yeah. Rub it so, in. Thanks a lot. I hope he's watching. Oh, okay, I'm good. about to bring yeah. out a stack. I'm about to start throwing money at the camera. I'm like, I hope you're watching. <laughs> no. Does um, your dad need an old ass daughter? Is the question. Has he? Are you talking I, about me? Or you <laughs> wait, what? I don't watch your, your daddy and my daddy is damn near the same. No, I know you good say. daddy. He thought you gonna share. What you mean? Uh, I'm 34. I need a daddy. <laughs> I need a father. You can talk figure. to my mom about that. <laughs> no, not in that way. I got plenty of them. That, the, I'm good on that book. I need a oh father figure, God. someone I could go to for male advice. That's my dad just and turned 40. Wild. Wow. Okay, oh, we're the young. same age. I'm gonna yeah. tell you the truth. Where's your dad? Where's your grandpa at? Well, oh. <laughs> Where's your dad's grandpa at? Is crazy. Are you crying right now already? It just started. <laughs> Bro, yeah, literally, Jamie, please stay away from everybody's dad. Literally, you, no. you should definitely stay away from everybody's dad. Especially oh hers. You gonna start some? No, I didn't mean that way. I meant I'm kidding. As a father I'll give figure. me some structure. I'll give you some direction. You know what I'm saying? I've been a pimp. Bitch, I listened to you too many right? times already. We done. I'm done with that. Actually, what? What you mean? What? You've given me a lot of good advice, but also a lot of not good advice. <laughs> what the f- fuck are you talking about? I've given you great advice. And? You don't listen. You Could hear what that you want to hear. Problem? That's the problem. That I the give problem? you advice, you don't listen to it, and then you be like, I don't know why my life. I'm like, bitch, I told you. I told you to stop fucking with that person, but there you go. Like a fucking. Y'all both give each other good and not so good advice. Of Thank course you, you're Lilo. Say that. Thank you, Lilo. <laughs> Lilo's like, oh no, you're going to be with Jamie. I already know you. I, to I, I'm like, I Whoa. am. I take pride in the fact that I give horrible advice, but I will make you happy <laughs> in that moment. Like, I will tell you, yeah, so burn that enabler. shit, burn that shit, burn his car, fuck him, leave him. <laughs> you don't need sick. that man. And then, you know, maybe you do need a man, that man. Maybe he wasn't really that bad, but <laughs> I'm going to support you in any way possible. That's an enabler. Mm-hmm. That's not an enabler. That's a little bit of an enabler. If you're hurting yourself, no. But if you're on fuck that shit, I'm a ride. Yeah. But well, what if fuck that up. shit is hurting we yourself? Some shit up. What if you hurting yourself by saying fuck that shit? <laughs> to what? But what could you if you're already anti it? You're self sabotaging yourself. Go ahead, Lilo, say it. Tell self sabotage? Yeah. <laughs> like what if you really love that person but you drunk in the moment and your best friend is like, Yeah, or key his car, but he don't really got no insurance, so then now he's fucked. Well, then y'all gonna be riding around with the key car. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh yeah, people want to see you, Jamie. Yeah, why don't, why don't y'all switch? Go. Yeah, we can. No, we can scoot. Look, there's room. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's room over there. <laughs> Cuddle with Cole. All. <laughs> okay. Let me scoot over a little bit. Yeah, y'all can scoot over. It's good. We're gonna um, be touching thighs. But yeah, she's gonna have the arm of that. Mic <laughs> <in her face. laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a little thigh touching. Y'all good? No wait, this is my good side anyway. Hold on, block that side you of my face. Hold rescue. on. Put the thing back <laughs> so it covers my double chin. Where was we at before? <laughs> I'm dead. I can okay. contour it real quick. I know, right? Come and snatch my <laughs> shit. I'm like, speaking of double chin, first of all, this fucking shit. Get this thing. Y'all go to the damn podcast. It's over there, all right? We shutting this down. Shut yeah, it thanks. down. All right. We shutting this shit down, too. TikTok, Shut we love down. you very much, but go over to motherfucking YouTube because we want to get comfortable and we want to talk about some yeah, things. Yeah, and, and we, we want to read your comments. It seems like right now we just <laughs> dragging each other. We <laughs> like to talk to J-Rock. She's like, why am I here? Each other is crazy. crazy. I feel like felt. Like, looking back, I'm like, I feel like Comadre was like, you guys are crazy. He's, no, he <laughs> is so wallet. sweet. He's funny. I know, super sweet. Okay, I love y'all on TikTok, but go over there to YouTube, all right? <laughs> YouTube.com slash Everyday Days. Y'all already know what's up, and we're going to get it lit. Yeah. Adios. <laughs> damn, am I not alive? This shit is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. I'm trying to end it, and it's all awkward. Hey. Oh. Which is funny, because usually you end it before <laughs> you're like, and I'm going to... Baby Drew. End. Baby Drew's the one that told me that. He's like, why do you always just cut off? I'm like, oh, I didn't know you needed a pause or something. Yeah, you need a pregnant pause after. There she motherfucking Yay. is. We was just dragging you through the mud, bitch. <laughs> we were like, look at this late ass. Hi. I'm dead. Hi, Tony. Hi, Tony. Okay. So I'm going to 
Sorry. We said, okay, we what do y'all got to get out? We was, we was, I, have, I have to pee. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I never saw nice. your side tattoo. I like it. I like your red tattoo. Hi. Hi. Air hug. <laughs> um, yeah. Yes, in there. Oh. Careful, because Edo likes to make fart noises on the on the mic whenever he people are in the bathroom. <laughs> Is she singing like, in the bathroom? Oh, I love that. Okay. She's singing. Oh, I love when people sing in the bathroom. <laughs> like when they're taking a shower or they're just going. Um, that's funny because my family hates it when I do that. Really? Because really? yeah. they're annoyed at me. They've been hearing me sing for like how many years already? Like 13 years. <laughs> they're like, we get it. They're bored of it. <laughs> it's the acoustics in the bathroom. I'm like, oh. I would, yeah, I mean, I've uh, yeah, I've been in a relationship with someone before that they didn't really <laughs> fuck with it. I was like, you are not meant to be with me. <laughs> but you I had sound to like a, a hater. <laughs> <laughs> I had to divorce that person and be like, you know what? But then I heard myself singing and I was like, you know what? Maybe I love right. singing in the bathroom. I just get scared when like other people are around. So you're like, you can mm-hmm. sing while you're like trying to poop though. That's a little crazy. <laughs> no, <laughs> not poop. Oh, because you <laughs> <laughs> just air going out of everything. <laughs> First of all, air? That's crazy. That's air. That's what singing is, right? Air. Yeah. I'm dead. Just, wow. You can't control the... I always wonder, how long can we have a podcast without bringing up, like, a poop joke? <laughs> That's pretty immature. But this is girl talk. Right? We're having Bruh. girl talk. <laughs> when did it's you... It's real. There's something would know. What, who was that? What? Oh, I was going to ask you, um, when did you first notice that you, like, could sing, sing, and not just recreational like um i'm gonna be honest like my singing started off as like being delusional like to hey. keep it a bug with you because like mm-hmm. i heard my dad was watching a boxing fight one time and the girl was singing like the national anthem and i just wanted to be able to do that so i remember like practicing it over and over and over and i was alone and eventually i thought i sounded good enough to like show people and then my mom and dad obviously like hyped it up you know because like i was their kid but i actually wasn't good like i sound like crap like i hear my old videos and i sucked but Aww. i just kept doing it kept doing it kept doing it and i think i just eventually learned like vocal control and shit like that like naturally i don't know that's but dope yeah, i was i was seven a lot of people Aww. can't can't do that Sorry, though. so yeah down. don't we don't downplay your baby. talent girl because a lot of people is still practicing vocal control and right it ain't, not, they're yeah. not with it yeah there be times i'm very on and off i'm like there be times where i'm like yo i hit that hole and then there be times i hear it back i'm like damn you should have drank a little less tequila bitch that was crazy <laughs> no but, i was like when I finally had the courage to really sing in front of people, I was like, okay, sing the national anthem at my high school basketball game. <laughs> Hell no. No, that's just hard. That They've asked it's me to so sing hard. it multiple places. I hate it. I always say no. I'm like, nope. I've done it like twice, I think. And I messed up both times. I was like, I'm never doing that shit ever again. Like, it's, I don't care who that's invites me. That's a hard me. one to sing. No, Do you get yeah. stage super right? hard. Do, Do I get stage, stage right? Never. No. I feel like that's, that's the only time I'm not nervous. That's you feel cool. me? The only thing I worry about is like if I look fat, but every, other than that, like I don't care. Aww. That's so cool. I feel like for people that are, Tony, are you gonna join us or are you just gonna fucking? <laughs> She's been touching herself up. You just over there fucking flexing and shit, Tony. Tony, you drinking today or what? Beer. Ah, oh, there you go again with your shit. <laughs> I'm just joking. There's this very berry drink right here that we was waiting. We thought you was gonna. I don't know if we have beer. <laughs> I know. We don't. Yeah. Pacifico. Who drinks fucking beer? I like beer. What a fucking you gentleman. You drink beer? <laughs> yeah. the podcast. Uh, <laughs> you d- have the- I want this berry drink. How about that? This okay, let's start. Oh, why, why don't, don't you introduce show, it? Yeah. Okay. How this came to be. Everybody that's watching because of J-Rocks, just remember I did not invite her here to drink. Okay? That she is, is a, not drinking. She is a little baby. She's not drinking. <laughs> However, her, us. Mm. <laughs> we grown. <laughs> Drama <laughs> we grown, grown. <laughs> nah, nah, uh, nah. I'm, uh, yeah, you know, that's the age, age uh, thing, whatever, in yeah. America, you know? I mean, in Mexico. You know, in America. You know, in Europe. <laughs> in the United States. When y'all got to leave. You doing that shit? When y'all got to go. Yeah. Okay. All right, so who, where's she sitting? How we doing this shit? But I do, oh, I was going to introduce this. I'm sorry, I got ADD, y'all. Yeah. So For her and Cole Jamie, switch, yeah. Jamie brought this thing where apparently there's this freaking liquor store out here in um, Stars LA. Liquor. Stars Liquor. I mean, I didn't, I didn't in have Burbank. to. F- okay, I'm not fucking, I'm not paid <laughs> to do this shit. We paid well, for this shit. I'm not paid for this. But there's some fucking like random ones, thing like, that was on TikTok. Like and this fucking store, who should give me a free drink, um, <laughs> sells these Tony. things made like with nice like this. You. Like you, Tony's they they letting you know. <laughs> I'm just like this. This is gonna suck on Spotify. I'm gonna let y'all know this right now. Everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no okay, go ahead, sing it. Go ahead, Tony. So stars. Hey. <laughs> okay, here's Tony. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They sell. Look, you don't look. You don't really like to drink, but I bet you he's gonna like this. Oh yeah. He likes <laughs> to drink. <laughs> 
Oh, for her face? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can't see her face. Baby, Cole, you go on this side, and Tony, you go on this side. Baby, I'll screw it. Oh, I can sit like this. No, you don't have to pee. I can sit like this. All right, what are we doing? Sorry, y'all. It might seem un- unorganized, but... Let, if you need to go, then Jamie can Let's introduce it. And then you go, and then come back. Are oh we going to turn God. this into a fucking thing? I want Jamie to drink it with me. Oh, yeah. I know, she's no. just going to introduce it and explain it, because she's the one that introduced it to us anyway. What? Yeah, she's going to... Yeah. No, I thought you said you had to go to the, the bathroom. I was trying thing. to help. We're just going to make it. I want to make it. Okay, let me grab the ice. All right. So we're going to make this fucking thing. What is it? It's a fucking drink. I guess there's a ga- there's some gas station liquor store place that fucking sells all these things already ready for you to make a good drink. So you like so put it all together? So mm-hmm. ain't no thinking to it. They already sell you all this shit, which is also amazing marketing because technically they're just selling you mad shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, throw a fucking so lollipop in that, that hole. I would love that shit. $25 and it comes with oh, a pitcher, a bag of ice, and all the ingredients to make this watermelon drink. This is another little example. This Jamie one was, comes. I'm gonna tell you the truth. I hope we start getting sponsorships because Jamie loves promoting shit. <laughs> so forty five dollars. Look, explaining, 45. promoting, bring some merch. Jamie about to sell y'all a fucking shirt <laughs> from my merch table. Nah. So yeah, there be there be this shit right here. So anyway, I want to make this. Can I get a bottle opener? I want to taste this. Here's the ice. That I taste it. McDonald's. Okay. I eat it. <laughs> Ooh. That's it. The attempt at ASMR. catching the ice. A- ASMR. <laughs> Her trying to catch the ice. She didn't oh. catch one piece. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you can see from the confetti on the floor. The other day I got really lit while we were making a drink and I tried to pop the confetti and it, po- it went all in the drink. And then we had to pull out the confetti and I still drank that shit because I was like, damn. It was good though. I feel like I wasted it by throwing confetti in it. That was fucked Honestly, up. Honestly, I'm so it was glad good. I wasn't there. Mm. You did a good job. I would, my oh, okay. Thank you. What'd you ask me? Mm, not what? Like what? Like beer? Any Jamie, beer? I, mean, I just like beer. I just need that one to open. Tony, do you have ADD? I don't know, but no, I think I do. Alyssa's talking about <laughs> I know, but that's what I'm saying. Like, we're trying to get a fucking clear. Sound. <laughs> oh, sorry. 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 She's like, I'm coming in. I'm going to pee. I'm going to sing. I'm going to fucking talk to people. I'm going to fucking swish this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chew. All right. Oh, my God. That looks so good. I feel like I should have made this better, though. I feel like you're doing no, you're doing job. great. You guys are both very pretty. Sorry, while yeah. there was a break. I have to say that. I think everybody in They're this room all is pretty. Very pretty, including Ido. Ido? <laughs> everybody everybody quiet, compliments the sun. You don't have a microphone. Right, so you keep talking without a mic. Know. I didn't realize that, I, that the mic was Are that you far. still talking? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they can hear you. It's just Jamie just background. said, fuck y'all with her ears. I mean, with her eyes. I got a paper cut on something. It smells delicious. It smells bomb. It smells like... A headache. As a Mexican, Probably. I want to throw some tahini on this shit. This is smelling like the little. This is literally smelling like a, a high school. <laughs> get you drunk ass drink. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, that's what we were going for. <laughs> shit. I got all day tomorrow. Like my, my first meeting tomorrow is at 4 p.m. Baby. <laughs> I saved Tuesdays for this occasion. Um. Yeah. No. Oh, shit. I'm about to throw. Shut up, because I'm about to throw this thing in there. I'm about to do a twofer. It's smelling like a four loco. A little bit. And once you add some more, like if you add another one of those bitches in there. These are dangerous by their, like, either way. Oh All my right, god, you put a try buzz this. ball in. Ooh, we finna get. I'll try it. <laughs> Wait, I have pineapple. That's another one? For this? Yep. Oh. You, Here, can yeah, you, do, you do the last touch thing. on the. Put a fucking <laughs> cherry on the top. Sorry, I'm like just. No, you got I sounded mad Mexican. <laughs> put a fucking cherry on the top. <laughs> Give it, give it a little bit of. Um, All right, twice. we should do that. I don't, I won't say every podcast, but like make in podcasts, drink. make like a certain drink, like a big drink like that. I that would be that cool. Podcast, you only, we, you we, only we, have one brunch podcast. All right, yeah, we need to start talking about liquor because we got Jay here and did, like did you wait? Jay She's rocks. Like, yeah, just like, like, it like a, it sounds like another language to me. How I'm long just do like you have? Watching, huh? How just long 20. do you long have? Do you is have? Crazy. Well, how old are you? Well, look, even when I turn 21, I'm still, I don't want to drink anyways. Good for yeah. you. Good for you. Yeah. You know, yeah. Leave it more Mo- for us. Morals and shit. More for us. She's going to have morals. morals. I love how we all start with that, right? Like, I remember when I was little and I was like, oh, this is going to be my only tattoo. This one right here. And then I was like, sorry, not making fun of not no, wanting to drink. No, 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 I'm sure no, no, someone likes me. I said I don't even want tattoos. I'm just like, bitch, I'm depressed. I used to be. You don't even have stage fright. Like, you already don't got problems. Like, 90% of the issues that exist in my life is that I have stage fright. For real? You don't have that. You don't look like you have stage fright. Because I drink. <laughs> 90% of my problems is the fact that I don't have a dad. It's 
That's why I was like, let me borrow. She wasn't oh. even a wheelchair. She already ended everything. She ended world hunger with having a dad yeah, and no stage fright, bro. It's crazy. <laughs> Stop. Being well adjusted. Never you know what? The look, I low key feel like dads are underrated on some real they, shit. They like, they're so underrated. underrated. I mean, I'm not saying that, like, to offend anyone that doesn't have a dad, but dads are, like, underrated. No, like, and also, I'm, I don't want to be the. the I don't want to be the spokesperson for not having a dad because I'm not going to lie. I had <laughs> a dad. Spokesperson. I, I had a dad up until like I was like 18. So I'm not going to lie. Like I uh -huh. had a dad. But but then I don't have no dad You just now. don't have yeah. a relationship. No, having a good yeah. dad. Good yeah, because he's fucking in, like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah good, my good dads dad. are underrated for sure. I feel like the only reason I am the way that I am is because of my dad. I mean, shout out to my mom so I love her, but I'm, I'm, no, no, because then she gets offended. Oh my gosh. She's gonna be like, no, hey, mom, no. if you're watching this, it was just a joke, but like, no, because I'm really <laughs> close to my dad, like super, super close. You know, he's like my manager, so I feel like I get a lot of like my traits from my dad, so. Do yeah. you have brothers and sisters? I do. I do, but I'm my dad's favorite, so Aww. it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, so I feel like I need to introduce y'all. Okay, so okay. Tony, J Rocks. Y'all both make music. Right? Y'all both. In La firme. <laughs> I thought y'all was both gonna slap me. <laughs> 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 oh my god! No, you're closing in on me. No. Oh um, my god. All right, so y'all both make music, both independent, right? Yep. Yeah. Both independent, both fucking amazing, both have used social media to fucking obviously like do their thing, promote, mm. like do all that shit. Obviously, Tony, y'all already know, like, bitch, what? All that, all that stuff. Like, this bitch was ahead of the time when the head, when the time wasn't even timing. You know what I mean? And then you doing your thing now and everything. I've just <laughs> subtly been there. <laughs> so I feel like, uh, one, we can have great conversation by being women in this industry, all that shit. I don't want this to turn into a panel, so it's not going to get mad serious and we're not going to fucking give the industry advice but I feel like we should talk about what life is living with like all this shit like music and what the fuck still like having a normal fucking life and still having normal problems while also adding problems that come with the shit with like social media and like with whatever the fuck there's ups there's downs there's dads there's not <laughs> you know all that shit so I love it <laughs> I'm gonna have a drink and I'm gonna let y'all go at it <laughs> oh my ladies god. I'm kidding oh ladies my god that was ladies go ahead <laughs> No, we chilling. That's cool though. So right? how old are you? Because you said you can't drink yet. Me, I'm mm -hmm. 20. Okay. When's yeah. your birthday? In October, October 4th. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, oh, so shit, I'm close. Since you aren't drinking, do you have any other like big 21 plans just because of the... Oh, uh, why? I'm going to Vegas for my birthday. I'm going to go clubbing for the first <gasps> time. Vegas. She like, lives in Vegas. Oh, for real? Yeah. Yeah. Like you have to. But don't go with her. You heard yeah. the advice yeah. she <laughs> gives, bro. I didn't do it. She about to <laughs> Isn't Vegas shut down? Or like, is it still under attack? Oh, yeah, no, I seen it's that. It's a cyber attack, but if nothing is shut down. It's just everything's a little taking a little gamble. bit longer than it normally mm. would. Like, the it takes like an hour to check in because there's no kiosk you could check in on. There's no, you know how like you can, if you if you have the app, you can like check in on your phone before you get to the hotel. That stuff is no longer available, but everything else, <laughs> like you can still get a spa treatment or there's a lot of fun stuff to do. Um, oh, I'm sorry. To, I think in Vegas, that's not. Can you hear her? Oh, you don't have headphones. I don't have headphones. I'm hearing her sorry. just breathe crazy. And she's like, she's like, she's like, it's cold. Oh my God. I'm sorry. Like, Turn that off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're talking and I'm, I'm hearing sorry. Sort of. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting now. I can hear whether you guys can hear my thoughts. Yeah. She's like, it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it wasn't like that. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. All right. All right. By the way, yes, I'm like, this bitch is crazy and wild or whatever, but she's also the smartest person I know. Like, her and my brother, they're both, they both have a, a they have a beef. <laughs> they're beefing, bro. But, um, no, that's, that's my team, man. These are all the people that fucking are dope. But I, I, I just remembered that I heard while I was drunk about the Vegas thing. I didn't, um, know. What the fuck? Are we under attack or just Vegas? No, it was, there was a cyber attack through all the MGM properties, which is basically like half of the strip. But, but so, are they trying to give us a warning? Like, who was it? Like, are they like, Russia, okay, right? so essentially <laughs> what happened was two weeks ago, they were able to hawk, hack into Caesars, which is essentially the other half, half of the strip, right? And Caesars was like, oh, we don't want no smoke. We're going to give you $18 million <gasps> so that you will give us back access to our own internal system. Who that, is it, Russia? Who's doing it? That's insane. They don't know. It's hackers. Like, that's no, the whole bro. point. Everybody start bringing out cash out the fucking doctor. I mean, at the uh, <laughs> girl, what? <laughs> cash out the doctor. <laughs> Pull out the cash out the doctor, <laughs> bitch. No, at the bank. I was thinking bank. Yeah. Like, no, no, it's it, it's they. So what I'm they hacked was the internal system. So that's why it's not like a national security threat or anything. What they hacked was your ability to check in your room. 
You know how like if you are in a suite, you they give you like an iPad thing to to turn off your lights and close your curtains and stuff. You can't they you can't use that. They took like the ordering systems offline, like weird shit to where the hotels are not running smoothly, but they they didn't hack into like customer data. So it's not the actual like slots in gambling. But stuff. no, so yes, like they, anything that makes a hotel run smoothly, they took offline, like your HR portal, so you can't see your schedule, shit like that. But doesn't issue. that isn't that a kind of power? Isn't that a kind of power? Like all the move? power. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying it's like a power move, letting you know, like yeah. It's like it's like the whole DDG thing. If somebody really ran up in your house while you're sleeping, slaps you in the face and leaves, <sighs> that was definitely Chloe. No, Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done. No, but that's not really a. That's not really. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, well, more I mean, of the thing of you can be touched than dead ass. Exactly. And so, somebody comes so in my fucking happened? house and like puts my TV on like a random thing. I'll be like, <sighs> too close for comfort. And also, this is a warning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And essentially, what Caesars did was Caesars was like, we don't want the smoke. We're gonna pay you your 18 milli. Leave us the fuck alone. And they did. They said, boom, here's your systems access back. They did a week later, they did the same thing to MGM. MGM said, fuck you. We ain't paying shit. And they said, okay, bet. Now, if you want your shit back, it's going to be 30 million. Mm. Is it Americans? They, Who the fuck is doing it? They don't it? know. So the FBI is involved. They're trying to find out who's doing the hacking, but they can't. It's probably our own hackers, government. So. <laughs> you know, I mean, the, the government just lost a... Thirty million dollar jet, like yeah, our and government then, and is then in shambles. And right then now. they went to the Little Caesars. Like, you <laughs> know what? Little Caesars. <laughs> I'm scared. Are you and scared? And they went to Caesars and MGM and said, "Run me my money back." Yeah. Like, but honestly, I'm oh like, I'm buying it's our own day government. If it's Christmas. already this fucked up, bro, you you only twenty, bro. If it's already this fucked up, what don't do you think say that, Snow. I'm saying Give like this shit is special. Okay, but wait, but what do you mean? Like scared of what? You have a son too. Don't say that. Yeah, it's gonna be here. It's gonna be fucked up for her. It's really gonna be fucked up when Drew. Oh, that I know, I'm too. already warning his ass. What do you think I'm working so damn hard for, bitch? I'm in a bubble. I'm a bubble. I'm like, I'm like baby. Snow. Listen. Don't leave the man. A bubble <laughs> is not going to do anything. Mm, what? Why? Because it's only going to cause curiosity. When you tell someone don't touch it, they're going to touch it. They want to touch it more. I don't tell them not to touch anything. Yeah, <laughs> I'm saying, though, no, if you put him in a bubble... He's going to want literally putting him in a bubble. I know. Snow, I'm about to punch you. Where's my beer? Hey, yo, <laughs> it is real early for the violence right now. <laughs> but it, is, it is scary to think about, though, like what's gonna what's happening in general. That's what I'm saying. No, for real, though, it really is. Especially as parents. Like, does that make you want to have more kids? Well, now I just feel like I have <laughs> to have one more because I can't leave Lily alone. Right. But <laughs> my son don't want to share his inheritance. He's like, please don't have more babies. <laughs> Baby Drew wants to stay he an just only has child. To, you just have to have one. And then he'll be like, oh. Like that big brother yeah. will come in. He does. He'd be like, if I did have a little brother, I would buy him all the Jordans with my own money. I'm um, like, oh, you are, you do want a little brother. You just, you know, you want to be hard headed. It's all right. He's a Taurus. He's like that. Check this. I love how Chisel was like, oh, the the sound sounds so much better with the AC off. I'm like, yeah, but we're hot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the moment Chisel. this beanie starts slipping off <laughs> and my lashes start slipping off, I hope you guys enjoy the fucking show. Don't blame <laughs> it on from, my drink. It's the AC lack. What do you want? Chisel from, I was going to pour us some of that. Um, Chill's from New Zealand. We can't complain take, about take being hot. Point. We were talking about Kiwis the last time you were here. Mm-hmm. About that, hey. Mm, 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 oh, mm, shit. Mm, shake that ass and move it like a gypsy. Stop. Oh, every time. Yeah, swing, swing. Every time Tony gets invited to the podcast, that should be her <laughs> intro song. <laughs> Stop. Now drop it want, low. What would you be? You want your uh, intro song to be? What do you mean? Oh, oh it's going to be X. What? <laughs> She Man, she that's a crazy it. question. I don't even know. Okay, wait, Stop yeah, pressure. I have a question for you. What's your name again? J Rock. Okay, J Rock. Well, you don't have to call me J Rock every single time, but just J, you feel me? Okay, J. Okay. Because <laughs> okay. I was wondering that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is like when you think of like your childhood? <laughs> when you think that's of your like, childhood, <laughs> like what are what are like R and B songs that are like R and B songs that are nostalgic for like when you were like eight, seven, like I'm 10. gonna give you the book with you. I don't R and B is like one of the genres <gasps> that I don't listen to a lot. Huh? I listen to more what? like like gangster music you feel me? we're starting a rumble right now okay <laughs> what's nostal- what's nostalgic then like what's a nostalgic song for you um i would say like like early 2000s pop you know what i mean like okay. that's nostalgic for me Stay or like like <laughs> no, she's sing a song i'm just curious oh she she loves early 2000s pop so she said hold on she's about to show up in yeah. sync something she's okay big <laughs> something that feels nostalgic for me because mm-hmm. like obviously i was a lot younger but that's i would say I like know. lady gaga like to okay. me that's nostalgic like okay. seeing her old music videos and her old performances and stuff like that and i feel like artists don't do it like that no more you know okay. like she was follow, insane where, what's your instagram i want to follow you now me oh, fan mm-hmm. i agree but i like obviously <laughs> we are have a big age gap almost 15 years 
when it's not Lady that Gaga big, to was be honest. coming out for me, I was like, it was like right before your, I was old enough to go to the club and party mm. and stuff. And I was like, this is what it's going to be like going to the club. It's not. Like, <laughs> it's it was, not. I was so disappointed. I was like, straight up. Everyone's going to be listening to Lady Gaga, Summer Boy. Like, it's, it's going to be. <laughs> oh, you wanted to be uh, at the gay club. Like, yeah, what? Well, <laughs> oh, <laughs> you wanted to be at West Hollywood. I was in the wrong side of town. I mean, it was Hollywood upset when that shit's happening because I'm trying to listen to R&B. <laughs> And That's there's like a bunch of Lady Gaga, everybody's fucking dancing. I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> Which is great. I lo- like Lady Gaga, I love ya, but I have anxiety in the club, so I want to listen to some R&B real quick. <laughs> I, liked, <laughs> I liked Kesha. Kesha? When yeah, Kesha was hard. When too. Kesha came out, that Kesha. was a fun time. I can't lie. Also, Avril Lavigne, too. I fuck with her. Yeah, she's good, too. She has a lot of really nice melodies. That's the drink. Oh, for who? I think she has some in there. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I have to. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what? Sorry. Do you want oh, I should have gave it to Cole. That would be the right answer. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I just poured more in mine. <laughs> you know what? Sorry. I'm All right, Kesha. What did you say? Love that. No. Kesha, no, Lady Gaga. What else is early 2000s? And 50 Cent? And see. I liked 50 Cent when I was younger. <laughs> when 50 Cent first came out. Oh, he was awesome. We he gotta was, admit. He was insane. He was, shut Jaw Rule down. He was so good. Yeah, he's. He, first of all, I don't know what the, like, art, like, what the aggression Spears? towards Ja Rule was. <laughs> That's his first song that, well, well, that, was that like, I remember. Was, I think it had to do with just the way that... <laughs> like, Wingsta. It was for Ja Rule. No, I know that, but I'm just saying, why, why did he hate him? I oh. feel like it had something to do with the way that they both kind of melodically rapped. Like, people were comparing them a little bit. And but I feel 50 like... 50 Cent used to talk shit about Ja Rule, and then he did the same thing. It I don't think New York... No, they don't have... He's not from New York. they went to high school or something together. Oh, did they? I don't fucking know. and Ja Rule both from yeah, Ja Rule has that song from New York. I was yeah. going to say, that's one of my favorite songs <laughs> ever. ever. Yeah, I don't know, know if I hear exactly. that New York Alicia Keys song one more fucking time, I'm <laughs> punching I, I, somebody. I hate that but song. But do you guys ever think about, like, I sometimes feel like um, like that like major labels pushed Ja Rule so hardly because he kind of sounds like Tupac. Like, the way he, like, his... From the bandana. His mm-hmm. tone. And, like, if you ever listen to, like... um. The people that do the mixes between like Tupac and Ashanti songs, like what is the uh, baby, 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 baby? They song. mash that with a Tupac song. The mm. dun, 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 yeah, that's dun, awesome. Dun. I love they, that. They put that with one of the Play Ashanti right songs, <laughs> and you could it just kind of gives that vibe of like when when to, when Ashanti and Ja Rule do songs together. Yeah. But what about Lil you Zane know what? though? Do you guys oh. remember Lil Zane? Oh my God, he sounded yeah. exactly like Tupac, and that was annoying. See, I, I don't know think who that is. Sonically, Lil Zane. I know you know the song. If I play it right now, you probably know it. Yeah. I think sonically, for me, Ja Ru was like the the kids' bop version of DMX. That's I was gonna say he reminds me of DMX. Me of. That's the yeah. only he person. He has that like gravelly, like, uh, like uh, uh. <laughs> but that's why I feel like it was a two bop. Bop. I feel yeah. like it was jealousy though, because I feel like Ja Ru was really in his bag. If you think about it, prior to Fifty Cent, Ja Ru was really in his bag, and he was really doing the whole girl singing on the hook. I'm coming in like a thug, uh-huh. and I think it probably annoyed Fifty Cent that he's like, "You're not really a thug. I'm over here getting shot." So I get it, but at the same time, I'm like, this many years later, Fifty Cent will still have a head like a fucking uh, quote on his Instagram. To Ja Rule. Oh my like, god damn, y'all no. should just fight or yeah, make I out. Saw that at this recently. Point. No, but Jesus. that's also just fifty cent. He's very much a troll. Like Yeah. Like what, what, what did he do? He, he what, what if like, he cent? bought the whole front row of Ja Rule's concert Scorpio. so it would be empty? Like he, Oh my god, I remember that. Is, that's well, so that fire funny. that fire flyer fire shit that fucking Ja Rule was a part of. Mm, oh the fire That fence. was crazy. Oh, that was yeah. fucking crazy. His ass deserved every shit it on to possibly Play, get. Yeah. He's a cancer. <laughs> I rest my case on cancer men. I rest my fucking case on cancer men to be like 50 Cent is a cancer male. Do not ever think that a cancer man is the same thing as a cancer woman ever in your fucking Ow. life. Yeah. Same ever. And, I, and you know what happens? Cancer men love to be like, oh, and they they say the traits that are cancer women, but it's like, nah, that's just you, like, you trying to use that shit because you're not a cancer woman. We great. You are a dick. I hate you. I got enough. Thank right. you. But anyway, I didn't even finish the first one. My dad is a cancer. Thank you, oh dad. Oh, my God. <laughs> my dad's a cancer, too. He's a great Both dad. My dad's a cancer. My brother's a cancer. My my, a my cancer. boyfriend's dad's a cancer. I hate everybody. <laughs> Fuck well, yeah. No, they're, they're always successful, cancer. though. I will say that. Barbecue. I know plenty of cancer men that end up being successful, but boy, I'll tell you. <laughs> I might want to fight you. <laughs> but yeah, 50's awesome. 
I enjoyed him growing up. Maybe I maybe maybe, maybe I liked I M- conversation. I with liked your dad. Eminem too when I was younger. I was just I about to bring Eminem. up Eminem. You just read my mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both I love Eminem. He's like my husband. Old, old yeah. Eminem or now Eminem? I feel like if Eminem, if I got to meet him and he asked me like on a date, I would say yes. Like even if I had a boyfriend, like I would say immediate. Yes. What? Big old I don't care. How, I don't care. Back how old that he up is. right now. It's because, because it's Eminem. Listen. He's the only exception, though. That's the thing. He's you a are the only exception. He's 50 <laughs> years old. I heard you when she said age gap. You said it's not that big, and now you say you would marry Eminem. Now I'm a little concerned. I'm gonna tell He's you something. 50. I'm gonna try to help you out. Do not, do not live on that. Like with that being a rule, okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, age gap is no matter. Yeah. Stay away from whoever it is that you're thinking. No, don't just do that. just Eminem. It's just Eminem. No, else. I don't know. Even him. <laughs> yeah, like, for her to say the age gap is not that big. I'm like, oh, girl. No, it's for her to say that it don't matter who she wears at the time. She's going to leave her man's <laughs> yeah. for 50 seconds. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm just thinking of 50, <laughs> I'm just thinking of 50 <laughs> because the nigga is 50. So oh I'm my like, God. my brain can't even wrap that <laughs> He's 50. He says crazy. Not nah, Eminem though. He's like my. He's been my boyfriend for like a long time. So, Aww. like if he. You remember when you? you but I yeah, hope. Delulu. I was gonna say. You remember when you said your singing started on Delulu? Yeah. I like that. It stays that way. Consistency. Consistency on the Delulu. Hey, no, but like I, I do miss old Eminem though. Even though I wasn't alive for that era, like I, I miss oh. it. <laughs> That's you know wild. what? Somebody yeah. said pose for the camera, and we just gonna pose for the camera real quick because <laughs> I heard that comment right there <laughs> made us all. Are you ready? One, two. Wait, 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 what? Wait, wait. What do you? Have you? Have you guys? Have you guys, have you guys heard the song by Eminem that's called Fac? Fag? Yes, oh fact. Well, hold it's on. Like you gotta fact. get time because you don't write fact. a fucking what? Fact. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking count. You don't have Wait, to I'm doing it. You don't Sing think it you again. don't have pose for the camera so- sound. So go ahead. Um, Alyssa, you've been watching the podcast long enough. Sing, sing it. it. Pose for the camera. Edo, you sing it. Oh, no. right. One, two, three. Pose for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Pose for the camera. I'm done. That's fine that you don't you have it. Come, I think my brother's coming up. He and him, you got Eminem playing. <laughs> oh. <Yeah>. Come on, <laughs> play that part. Play the part where he says, funny. grab that, grab that. What do you say? Grab that t- tube. Shove it up my butt. <laughs> Let that little rascal nibble on my asshole. <laughs> he says, uh, yeah, right there, right there. I'm gonna fucking come, I am. Yeah, okay, play that. Okay, hey, that's what y'all were missing? You want us to be monetized. Um, yeah. But that's what that's what you miss? No, that, not that's, what you miss. that's why I said when she said Eminem, I was like, old Eminem. Yeah, because that, Eminem, that's Eminem. And then there was his... a little middle range Eminem. Because Marshall Mathers, yeah. LP, you never, know. I've never listened to it. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. Never sat down. Criminal was a dope song. Never Criminal that song? is one of my yeah. favorite Eminem songs. I was on my way know. to do. I was on my way to do community that. service, and I was listening, literally bumping <laughs> Criminal. I was like, That's God, I'm a criminal, yeah. <laughs> you know. And then I realized I actually was better off getting a nine to five and paying my fees as opposed to. I was picking up trash in a hundred degree weather. I was like, you know what, bitch, oh fuck this. I'll get a job at a taco shop. What I'm if good. one of his songs is like literally talking about like. Like killing his baby mom. I know song. you're talking about so, Kim. Yeah. I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, the song the is called lyrics, Kim. Though. Yeah, Kim. But yeah, I, that's see, one of my favorite I, Eminem um, songs. That when when that I feel like when he was in that era, I was deep in my Britney Spears era. Like I was not. We <laughs> Britney were Spears was my first album I ever got. The two opposite polar. It was the first concert I ever went to too. My first concert was Good Charlotte. Oh my god, that's funny. When I was in my emo stage. Yeah. Damn. My first concert was in sync. What was your first concert? Are you going to go to the reunion? I'm like, tour technically, of if you course. count when I went with my mom, I was like four. <laughs> I went to like Luis Miguel. But <laughs> what the fuck is that? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> put, sure. put me on, put Pitch. me on. I'm like, Birch, the, bro, the merch is right here. I'm taking my mom to see Luis Miguel in Acapulco. By the way, he's from Acapulco, and I'm taking her to see it. And literally today, she was like, So what should I do? I'm going to have to buy my ticket. And blah, blah. I'm like, Mom, I got the ticket. I got where we're going. Don't even worry about it. Like, this is her man. She says he's mine and my dad, oh, my brother's That's dad. her Beyonce concert. This is her Beyonce. This is oh her. God, she's going to not stop crying. going to everyone's crying. favorite concert with them this year. Yeah. I'm trying you're, to. Your concert bay. I'm, I'm on my rounds like as if something was to happen to me, uh-huh. I'm going to make sure everybody got a memory with me forever. Sorry, well, that, let's that was not. That dark, was morbid. That was crazy. <laughs> right? I'm sorry. I, I would, was just I, But honestly, can we have a moment of appreciation for our friendship? Because... Or for your putting in back breaking labor for our friendship because <laughs> this bitch, can I tell you, she literally got off a plane, 
came here, packed a small ass bag, flew to Vegas, literally was not in Vegas 22 hours. That's how long she was there, just so that she could make sure that she went to the Beyonce concert with me. Because I was like, dude, I understand if you can't go, like you're going to fucking Belize, like you got, you're busy as fuck. I get it. I will be so sad if we can't do this together because I've been looking forward to it, but I understand. And you were like, bitch, I am making it happen. And it touched my fucking heart. Like, and I wore your face on my yes, shirt, And she wore Jamie merch to Beyonce. I love and Jamie. she was mute on friend. the mute challenge. And we drank Hennessy in the parking lot. Like, it was everything that anyone could want to do. Like, I still was bringing a chair to mind. That was car I love so fun. merch was, for female rap. Like, the car artists. karaoke videos. It was... Anytime I show up for time. any female in any, like, event, I'm buying Because you know what it merch. takes to have the merch. Hell yeah. Like, fucking... You know what I mean? I, know, I took her to fucking see Angela Johnson. We bought the merch. I went to Beyonce. Dude, I, I love that shit. I love women supporting women. And I love supporting women i love being there for all of my friends that are you know what i mean but yeah no you no, yeah it was such an amazing nothing. experience and i would not have wanted to experience it with anyone else Aww, but you and i'm, I'm very love grateful you. for that <laughs> it is not something Baby. that i totally oh. if anybody right now right here was to get tickets to any concert and sing what is it go eminem eminem, eminem or x if he could be revived <sighs> damn <laughs> that's yeah would, how did you feel about the documentary they made about him um i feel like it was mid not okay i shouldn't say that hold on let me take that back hold I on feel wait like, a minute my 20 year old queen I feel don't like, say shit <laughs> don't say shit <laughs> you don't want to say yeah, no, 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 no. i take it back i was just kidding as a joke but um <laughs> i feel like as a like a huge x fan i just feel like i already knew almost everything that was in that documentary and i thought that we were really going to get like a more in-depth view of his life and i feel like they kind of portrayed more of his negative side than his like positive evolutionary really? side I think so? so that kind of like on in the documentary yeah like mm -hmm. it was really dark in my opinion and i thought they were going to kind of show more like his new era that he was going into i thought into it was good for the fact that it was unbiased kind of like i feel like it, it, was it really good was unbiased that they should have i enjoyed that they showed the side of the girl that he supposedly abused but i also enjoyed having her talk because it's, i feel like uh -huh. it exposed that she's just a kid that comes from a fucked up background. Can I ask, as someone who hasn't seen the documentary and only knows the bad stuff about this man, is it alleged? Is it alleged abuse or it hasn't been proven in a court of law? Because it was I my think understanding he, I th that I believe he, he did it. I, I think he did what proven. he did, but I do think like like she said, okay. And, and I think it almost goes into um, imposter syndrome which is something that i struggle with which is that when you're finally getting to like to try to be better his life was cut short so it's like i feel like sometimes it's yeah. like damn imagine if like yeah you come from all this shit and you've done all this shit and then you're finally on some like maybe redemption or something and then it's like bam and that's it that's but the end of the story just that's talking about up. like that yeah. similar thing we're not about earlier. to talk about the prison system, bitch. No, but I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> I'm like, we're not getting into that fucking conversation. But my, mm. to what my were you understanding, about to that was kind of like he was in the midst of this, like, sentencing phase, right? When he passed away. <clears throat> if if I, I might be wrong. I'm yeah, they didn't fully. Yeah, they, they were like charges fully. against him, but they never fully. Um, I yeah. think I had to close the case because obviously he passed away, but. All, like all I have to say about like that aspect too because a lot of people think like oh what do you think about what he did like is he guilty whatever like I think to the the root of it like none of us will ever know 100% what ever happened but I also think that like every person too in to a certain extent is fucked up and everyone has sinned and everyone is like yeah everyone does everyone yeah. is no one is innocent basically and I'm not saying that it's right what he did or what anyone else does you know not yeah. condoning anything but I'm just saying that everybody to an extent is a bad person in a different aspect of their lives and i think that nobody has the right to judge anybody else and it's the fact that he was on an evolutionary path to life and i feel like one of the very few artists of our generation that was genuinely trying to be a good role model to kids because there's not a lot of artists that give a fuck about their fans like that and he was genuinely genuinely trying to be there just because his childhood was so fucked up you know i think that through his music that's what he did and and i feel like that's what he did for me probably millions of other kids and i think that that's what you can and uh, can and you should choose to focus on because that's the route that he was choosing to take you feel me because so many people have like so much to say and everything but the reason why it seems so much worse is too because his life was public and you know but there's so many like random people on the street that have probably done worse than that but you'll never know because their life is just not public yeah. mm -hmm. and you know? i think it's just it's a fine line to walk but as someone who has been a victim of domestic violence mm -hmm. i don't think that saying that you can overlook that is a very hard it's a, it might be mm -hmm. a hard pill to swallow as someone in my shoes, you know, yeah. and especially as someone with fans and you're young. Yeah. Like, how would you feel if your fans were hearing you say that I'm putting that to the side? So I yeah. think it's just it's a it's a very difficult situation. And him being 
past makes it another layer to it because you don't know yeah. you know could he have changed the whole thing yeah. or could he have fell in back into yeah hit proven track record yeah you don't know i watched so it in real time i remember another... watching it in real time because you know that was just an artist that around you know like when i was already rapping so at the time it's like i'm watching a lot of the people that know a lot of the people and they're fucking and then he's going on his first tour i remember his first tour was getting a little like struggle it's like with little peep too i remember where we were when Peep passed away and literally it's like we had just been there same fucking and it's like and then you hear it's okay. like in the back of a bus and i'm in the back of a bus and i'm now you start going through certain shit and i remember where i was when x passed away and i'm in the back of a bus and we're in atlanta and i'm just like what the fuck everybody's literally staring at each other like what is happening with the people that were the most popping in the, these years is mm -hmm. now like m magically like half of them are gone and you're yeah. like what like how does you know like this generation of like artists like and then you know there was a lot of different people like whether you were Zodine or whatever and then you know Juice World and all this different stuff and it does put a fucking like thing on it where it's like yes of course like mental health of course you know people's dark past come up and you know things can be you know whatever and it's like it just is always so unfortunate when people's life gets cut short you know whether the only thing sorry i don't mean to cut you off the only what? thing with 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 the documentary that i felt was sad like why i keep bringing up the little girl the younger girl mm. that he supposedly abused allegedly again i haven't um, seen it so I'm, maybe i need to see it before i make a song yeah, yeah the part that's sad about it is when she talks about her testimony and like she did eventually like let him back into her life, but she kind of justified it by being like, well, my mom beat me and like, I love my mom. So like, basically being like, I can forgive my mom so I can forgive him. Yeah, and it, it, it was just kind of sad because like he was dead. And then obviously too, there was a lot of situations with a lot of the fans who were constantly attacking her being like, you're the reason that he's not successful or that people are shitting on him. But it's like, actually his choices were the reason yeah. why. But I mean, at the end of the day, like, yeah, I just feel like it's it's all it's a fucked up situation in all aspects because he had such a bad childhood. And yeah, I do think he was trying to turn over a new leaf, yeah. but he did do some fucked up shit. Yeah. And so that's why I think it's just like he was undeniably talented. That's not a that's definitely not um undisputed. Like you can't say he wasn't good at what he did. But it does just yeah, it just stinks because he was so young, but it made a lot of terrible decisions yeah it's just hard it's just and it's, hard but it's across the board right because there's yeah. a lot of people like you can't you can't sit here and be like oh this person was young and they blah 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 without bringing up like all the fucking artists that have done all the fucked up shit and then you go back all the way mm -hmm. to the 50s and you be like damn all yep. these fucking people and, and when yeah. people want to listen to shit they be like trying to separate you know music you know art, art from, from fucking art. person yeah. Yeah. and it's like it's such a like deeper convo about is, everything because sometimes yeah. it's like damn bro like I don't know. Like, and I, I think also what it ends up falling into is just the prevalence. And we're all women here, except for Edo, the woman supporter. <laughs> but um, ally, supporter. Ally, ally. <laughs> but you know, it what it really I think speaks to is just the fact that we live in a society where violence against women is accepted. Exactly. Right. We really do. I have think disrespect to think, against women is yes, so wildly on every accepted. level from yeah. from the very very borderline to all the way to abuse. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. To literally where pe there are people who like look at that woman who just got hit in the freaking head with a brick and people are finding what? videos from five years ago justifying why yeah. she was hit in the head well with at the same time I, I will say though about that is i can't lie i have research i went down that rabbit hole of that and i do feel like she was lying but that doesn't but all but she's I mean, doing people like what okay, i'm saying though say is she she's just perpetuating the she's just perpetuating the simple fact that women need to be believed to be believed yeah. like she's fucking up the shit for women who are actually getting fucked yeah. up it's like that's, I don't know, that's the thing that'd be stinking sometimes, because it'd be like, the the ones who actually be lying be the loudest ones, mm -hmm. and then they fuck up the whole <laughs> thing for the women that actually need, yeah. who are, who are I, too I scared to say like that. Like that girl that who faked she got I mean, there are a lot of... Oh, no, bro. There's you know, a lot there was, of evidence yeah. that she put... She's like, made a lot like, of fake GoFundMes, all type of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah but I mean, crazy. That, it, I think that also it might be a little bit of a boy that cried wolf. Just, you know, and, and I think that's kind of something we were speaking of earlier, too, of, like, the perfect victim. But I think going back to what you were saying about this young girl who, like, statistically, women will forgive their abuser 10 times yeah. before they're able I to actually I, them. I did it. So I just think that it's, uh, <laughs> like, as women, you, it's something we Sometimes we sit there and defend to. the fucking abuser yep, the exactly. entire time. People yeah. are like, well, Dude, they're doing this. And you're like, but I uh, said that. When I'm only yeah. up <laughs> to like, you about bro. my abuse and you're like, you should have called the cops. You should have got him locked up, blah, blah, blah. Like, he 
fucked your face up, bitch. Like, how could you just let that happen? And I'm like, I don't want him to be deported. Like, and, I don't, and, I don't and as a and as a as a Mexican, like that, uh, <laughs> that, that thousand percent, that yeah. people like that motherfucker yeah, no. is the problem because then people get to be like. He, you know, uh, like you know, people come to do be- fucked up shit like that, and it's like, no, that dude is a fucking particularly piece of shit dude. Exactly. He should, you know, suffer some sort of consequences. That's not the fucking rule for, you know, oh, like undocumented yeah. people. people. Exactly. Well, I, out of my entire family, all of them are here to fucking work and then become legal. But here's some fucking dude that gets a free pass. Exactly. Because you were nice and let him be an yeah, abuser. Yeah, and because That's it's, crazy. I don't. For me, I feel like. Now, and but <laughs> I think right in now. general it is something where, especially as women, we shrink ourselves and we don't feel like we will protect our abusers and we will feel like, oh well, it's not that serious <clears> because <throat> it's happening to you. But again, but then social- if you see it's happening to someone you love, it's all of a sudden that serious. Social yeah. media is one of them things that fucking keeps that shit going because every time that somebody comes out and they're a victim, they be like, oh, why is she all of a sudden coming out now? Like, bitch, yeah, it took five years for the bitch. Yeah, to yeah. Finally I don't even care. To yeah, I don't even care about that because people don't like. I don't know. I feel like. <clears throat> People that try to like downplay when people finally speak up, it's like shut the fuck up. Have you never not actually had issues going on? It doesn't. T- some people can say it right then and there, and some people are it too embarrassed forever, to yeah. admit that they allowed someone to take advantage of them. Like yes. why? Do you, like that's not something that's empowering for a lot of people to even fucking talk about. So Straight of course, up. women don't want to be like, yeah, he punched me in the eye and I sucked his dick last night afterwards. Hey, like yo. why do I? You know, like I don't know. I just feel like nobody okay. really would want to admit that about themselves. But so it's also like the history of when that happens. It's like always blame ends up being the blame on the woman of like well what did you do to make him do that or what did you do to make him feel like he can't or they're under the influence of something so you make an excuse for them yourself right yeah. right and it's like why I can't like it it's like i understand everyone needs to be held accountable but at a certain point when is like the line it has been drawn and it's been crossed like <laughs> that's why people are starting to get hacked and the world's gonna end we're <laughs> out here fucking this shit up okay <laughs> we need to do better as a people but no, nah, we need to, I know, and we, we will get on uh, more topics like this, but I'm like, God damn, bro, I'm getting mm-hmm. bummed out. I'm like, this week you're about to start. <laughs> I know, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to start talking about this. This type of shit I like to talk about. Come here, coach. I'm dead. No, That's yeah. funny that you say that, because like, those are my favorite types of conversations, because I like to really like pick at people's minds, you feel me? Yeah, like, like yeah they, they do, but it's early in the night, baby girl, and I'm like, God damn, an hour of the I'm like, so. I like the way my depression is set up. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to be up at four in the morning and <laughs> overthinking like this. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, mental health is a real fucking thing. And all of us, you know, we all deal with it however the fuck we can. A lot of us joke about it and fucking, you know, like we go a little bit overboard. You ever been joking about something and you'd be like, ooh, a little too much? The room got, <laughs> the, the, room got the like, vacuum. Yeah, that's, that's me, me all, you, that's that's me all the time. <laughs> You're joking about something and then the people around you are like, silent. What the hell happened like, to you? Y'all like, Y'all don't think about killing yourself. Stop. 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 Back away. All right, I was trying to change the subject, but if y'all want to keep on going down this rabbit hole, let me tell y'all something. Stop. <laughs> so last night, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dear Kim, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm dead. But yeah, no. I mean, you know, that's what makes great music. That's what makes great entertainment, great movies. Like everything that is fucking, you know, the, the trauma porn trauma is fucking, yeah. That's trauma sad. bonding. Mm-hmm. It's amazing, great Trauma guys. porny. Well, no. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Why do you gotta put the word porn in there? <laughs> she wants to get us demonetized. Wait, That's what? Her, no, I don't. She's, she's on a. She was the sent. Last, she was sent by the Russians. The that fucking hacked Vegas. Exactly. <laughs> the last time I came, you said like curse. You can curse. What did I say? You just keep saying the word porn. Okay, it's corn. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Anyway. Sorry, Jesus. my queen. How y'all been? <laughs> I hate you. Too. What are you doing, Danny? Daddy. Talk- right. Sorry, my queen. <laughs> yeah. She could call me queen. It's okay. I'm wearing pink today. I'm wearing pink today. Today's the day. No, but um, yeah. What the fuck? What are these crickets for? What is going on? What crickets. I know. Roberto Ver- Vargas. 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 I'm like, Roberto Vargas is fucking crazy. <laughs> Roberto Vargas. Do you wear glasses? Who wears glasses on this? I wear glasses. You? You? You wear glasses? Huh? Oh, no. I don't. <laughs> Next oh, topic before I get PTS fla- PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> right. Yeah, right? It should come with a fucking Fuck warning. that nigga. Okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take you guys to write a three-verse song? 
Shortest time. Snow can make a verse in 30 seconds. Shut she used to lock no, me in the booth and make me record. Uh, yeah, music. I used to fucking beat her in the booth yes. and be like, you will be a rapper. <laughs> That's not true. That's so funny. Like, we were, I was telling you how we found those random old songs. And I was like listening to my verse and I'm like, I didn't sound that bad. And then your verse came on directly after. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that's what a professional is supposed to sound like. Got it. Got it. But I loved you. And you, I always knew you were funny as fuck. And that was pre-podcast. I was like, oh, you were meant to podcast. Yeah. We just, they, the podcast didn't exist back then. <laughs> it wasn't a thing. It wasn't a thing. But you like, always believed in me. I always believed. You're I, a yes. wonderful friend. Thank you. It's just fucking. I, they're gonna think I invited them to fucking hear you compliment me, bitch. I'm like, all right. and you guys well, should be her friend too because she's Tomorrow, wonderful. Bitch. All right, all right, great. I'm dead. Who don't pick at your nails? Who picks out their nails? I me. do. I do. You do too. I got you all do? of you. Yeah. I got all booty diggers. Oh my god! <laughs> what? You guys don't call them that. You guys don't call them that when your nails are bit, like really low. Is that a black thing? You, Mexican people don't say booty diggers. What? I've never no, heard that. we never even said that. That's part of black community. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that either. Pass, pass, my, pass, pass, my Negroes, my, my, my Negroes, <laughs> my Negroes in the back. Come on, booty diggers, <laughs> chat. <laughs> booty diggers, right, chat. I'm like, we got, we got. You know, wait, wait. Were you Mexican or only yeah. Mexican? Um, Mexican, Mexican and like 15% Filipino when people want to get technical. Okay. Period. All right. Nice. <laughs> hey, t- I speak Tagalog. No. Booty um, diggers when your nails are short. Okay. So we got some Latino. We got black, white, Ito, <laughs> Armenian, <laughs> Mexican man. You know, you, you mix with a bunch of stuff too? Yeah. Mexican, native. Raider fan? Raider fan. What? Hey! You're, finally, she's a Raider fan. Are you really? Are we doing that now? Yeah. She said it. They won. She claimed it. Yeah, she said if they won, she would be a Raider fan. And they did. What's up with you? No. Oh, mm, absolutely right. not. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely not. All right, whatever. Disappointed. I'm on the other, well, I was going to say I'm on the other side of the bridge, but technically not because y'all moved to Vegas. Let's jump her. Right after the podcast. You ain't even no Raider fan. You're a Raider fan, a, right? Just because you live in we Vegas. Make a, we should make a bet. We should make a bet right <laughs> now that, that at the end of the pod, somebody who loses is jumping in the pool. Oh, I Full clothes. Oh, I don't want to know. My pants weigh three pounds. <laughs> <laughs> it depends the on how. Warm. I know the pool is warm. warm. Wait, what was the bet? I don't know. We should make a bet. Somebody, somebody lose else. about what? Uh, no, let's play I can't knockout. lose. You, you can't skinny dip in the fucking. You already put <laughs> your butt in the fucking. <laughs> let's knock out. Basketball. I'm still wondering if you're going to watch it. I like. I love how you fucking said that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. I feel like the fact that somebody. Cover your ears. Can we not? The fact that somebody did it. Somebody did it in my pool area and it wasn't me is wild. In front of guests? In front of guests? Uh, friend. <laughs> what? In front of company? That's fire. It's a family conversation. And you Damn, bring why it she up. Just, why she just, Damn, she just put your business in yeah, yeah, private right. group yeah, chat. Man. I love that. I love that we gonna act like it's fucking private information when in tw- when that drink is gone, you're gonna say that shit anyway. You're gonna say where shit. <laughs> Damn! What's she on with you? Damn! Candy coated. I know my time to leave. I'm dead. I swear to God. Don't I leave. Shut your ass up, bro. But I'm wanted. All right. So are you gonna give tea on that, or are you just gonna let that go? Um, we'll maybe we do a day once after. Story <laughs> yeah, time. there you go. Day one story time. She wants oh, skinny dip. Someone fucking. We skinny dipping after on the out. day one. What? Huh? They're calling me out on my drunk voice. Oh, you, you're, well, you're, you're, you're drunk. They said Lilo's drunk voice is so cute. Aww. You're not drunk, are you? <laughs> Honestly, this I know is you're a drunk motherfucking creep. Yeah, I'm not, not drunk, drunk yet. Yeah. yeah. What's your drunk voice? You I have tolerance. a shot yeah. and a drink take, over here. So. What's your Wait, drunk voice? Wait, y'all all need to take another know. shot. I knew her drunk voice when, when we were at Hollywood <laughs> Hollywood Horror Nights, and I heard her behind me, and she goes, I want to see your phone, and I want you to do your video right now. I was like, cold. I didn't even look back. I would do that either way, I think. Do you sing? Can you? Can I sing? No. Yeah, I'll be scared can. to pull can her back because it's like, nah. Can like, she sing? She I don't know. I've never heard of her. She, she loves a lot of R&B. The tone of her voice is giving that she could sing a little bit. I'm dead. All right, is there going to be a session after this? <laughs> we're, like, we're not skinny dipping in the pool. We're going to the studio. And Jamie's going to be traumatized because we're locking her in the booth. I will not. I will. I literally, the last time I was in the studio with you, I fell asleep. Like, I, I am like. No, you fell asleep after the Hennessy. We had a great time. Everybody had a great time. No, what? what during Pina? Remember I fell asleep and you were like, bitch, leave. <laughs> no. Oh, we were hurt. Stop. No. No, that was like No, the time, time when she was madly. No. You was in the bathtub. 
<gasps> oh, yeah. No, not Excuse that me. time. No, I'm talking about the last Sorry, time guys. you were actually recording with oh, Lauren. You, you were hungover and you were asleep. I don't like the process of making music. I like hearing it when it's fully baked. Like going and in and hearing that. the same I like the process. line over. I love and I'm the like, process. The process of what? No. Making music. Making oh. a song. Yeah. Do no, y'all record I'm not alone? A do y'all record alone? Do y'all like a, a party setup? What do you guys like? How do you guys like to <laughs> well, if I'm doing a verse for somebody, I like a party. If I'm recording like some like emotional shit, I'm like everybody, everybody bye. Else. I'll mm-hmm. see you guys tomorrow. I'll record this at seven in the morning, like by myself. Yeah. What do you guys like? I don't care. I like to be alone. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Can you alone and record? Are you a solitary? Would you consider yourself a solitary person? Me? Yeah. Jake? Um, I feel like, yeah, most of the activities and things I like to do require only myself. Um, I have a little bit. I have very, very, very few friends, too. Um, so I just don't care that much. But I, I'm, I could socialize with people. Though. Like, I'm not antisocial. I'm not, like, rude. I'm not going to, oh, no, like, I, ignore I everybody. I could talk to anybody and everybody even for hours and hours on end. But, mo- like, to my core, like, I prefer, like, mostly to be alone. Since you're younger than MySpace... <laughs> if you had I'm to dead. rank your top eight friends like we did, <laughs> rank your friends right now one through eight. Rank my friends. Yep. They're gonna top get offended, eight. bro. And that's that's what happened. Watch watch it. It. In a CML code, please. We've been through the fucking the stripes of literally. Oh damn! You to rank your Somebody will call friends. you. I'm not on your top. Your top one anymore. Wait. Okay. So you said your top, top eight. eight? Top that's eight. She's like, I don't. I don't even know if I have eight friends. Hold on, let me think. Damn, you're I making me feel like a total my one mate so would be cool. I'd so be like, fuck I. that. I'm not putting, I'm not rating my friends. So I would put the little fucking code Maya, that would turn your page. Just, just my family. You always knew who someone was dating by their if they were each other's number ones. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mine was always Tom. I could say it's my top three people that I talk to every single day and that I... But rank them in order of preference. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, number one is obviously like my sister. Aww. And I know that's something. Her, her name is Bree. Hey, Hi, Bree. Shout out, Bree. Bro, sister, no, but sister. Me and my sister, I feel like we're not like closest, like normal sisters. Like, we're like, I don't even know how to explain it, but she's literally like my. I think my sister is one of my soulmates in like a platonic Aww. way, obviously. Um, so, definitely that. my sister is up there. Um, man, all of my friends are like older people, too, now that I think about it. You know, like MC Magic. Um, me. It's now she snow. I was like, I'm not in your <laughs> top eight. <laughs> She's like, you're not in my top eight. Me and MC Magic, we're the battle. No, I'm just joking. Battle. <laughs> and we're going to put on the sumo suits and wrestle. Who do you think will win? No, I'm just joking. That's funny. Um, okay, keep going. Sorry. You know, um, my, my best friend, Monta, she's like my only girl friend that I have. Because all my friends are guys besides her. And then... That sounds horrible. It's not horrible. Bitch. It's not horrible. It's because you need to understand something. My my lifestyle is like so fast paced and so like it, guy friends are easy, bro. They're low maintenance. You don't have to talk to them every day. You don't have to like, you know. And they do everything for you. Like it's like easy. <laughs> you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> She's like, take notes. Really. No, nah, for real, like they'll carry on my back for me when we're at the store. Like you know, like they'll buy food for me and shit. Like I don't know. They're just they're they're cool and like I feel protected too because like people in my city they know who I am. You know, or like when I come out to LA or San Diego, I don't like going nowhere nowhere by myself so having like a pack of guy friends is like good for me because it's like free security basically you know what i mean don't you let them hear you say that but I've also but also no nah, but also it's because my whole team like my whole entire team it's all men like my dad is my manager and then my team is mc magic and then we have another a few other like tour managers it's all men and like i just feel like because the men in my life they really really genuinely care about me and like they will like kill for me type shit so like i feel just protected you know what i mean and i'm, I'm used to being around men i guess you could say um mm-hmm. did you play sports growing up nah i was lazy so i was more like creative you feel me but nah i don't even like yeah, sports that's interesting i think what the, the only fuck do you and these guys talk about <laughs> i think <laughs> like, i think like me and my guy friends i'm like i'm a yeah. they'd be like fuck you i'm like yeah fuck you nah, yeah, it's like, i feel like i have a lot of guy friends because i played a lot of sports growing up so it's like that's kind of why i feel like i have a lot of guy friends but that's interesting that you didn't play sports but you like guys um it's because i don't know i guess too like their humor it's because i feel like oh this is gonna sound weird how, like how i'm, I'm trans <laughs> no <Sorry>. no <laughs> like, <laughs> growing up i grew up with guys too no, like i had more guy friends than regular friends because girls are grimy i just feel girls. like Stop, not with the misogyny no yeah yeah and no, i'm not even trying to sound <laughs> like that because girls are cool too you feel me like girls are cool i don't i don't even care like, i'm too lit for this right <laughs> now what is happening <laughs> no so I, many buzz keywords are in this bitch <laughs> and i'm buzzed <laughs> i feel like i don't care what gender you are if you're cool you're cool but i just noticed myself 
of having more guy friends they're the ones that have lasted longer in my opinion and like for some reason you know what i mean and like i always fall out with my girl best friends and i mean a lot of them have done like shady stuff to me so i'm just like whatever but i don't like to be like sexist and be like not nah, because you're a girl i'm not gonna fuck with you like yeah. no not at all like would i don't you, care but would you be creeped out if you found out that all of your guy friends who you're really close with would all fuck you if they got a chance ew so that I, I would, would that creep you out or would you be like i don't give a fuck because i don't care if my guy um friends respectfully um i just don't like when questions are worded like that because i know my dad's watching oh, yeah. i'm sorry dad i'm sorry but, dad yeah um i mean my guy friends <laughs> i feel I'm like trying to be careful because of her age too i'm like hey no like a lot of my guy friends it's more like kind of like i feel like you? sibling vibes like i don't even see them like i don't feel like they see me i mean they talk to me about a lot of them have girlfriends like they'll talk to me about girl problems it's not like like if i low-key got a vibe like that like i would cut him off you feel me really and i know guys hide it i know i'm not stupid i know that they plot on you yeah. i know they be hiding shit they try to act like the best friend and then they when they have their chance i know that but yeah. i've been friends with a lot of these these dudes like for years and like i've seen them go you know through girlfriends or like you know yeah. they'll talk to me about girl problems it's, it's like i feel like sometimes i kind of carry myself like a guy like the way that i speak and act and everything so they i feel Relate. like they can't be attracted to me and if they are then like they should question themselves you feel me why would <laughs> they question themselves i feel like honestly this is what i think i think like men are just creeps like <laughs> no i agree with you like i think that, like, like it's not like, like, like i don't think <laughs> that like okay like i've always had a lot of guy friends i think but, like i don't think remember they're young bro but that's what i'm saying like i don't yeah, think that cause... if a guy wants to like if you're if one of your close friends like would consider smashing you at one point in time like i don't really feel like that's like it would make me uncomfortable about the friendship because I just feel like guys want to smash anything anyway. No, that's so, facts. Like, they do. I don't know. I feel like I wouldn't. I'm just curious what you think about it. But also too, I'm laughing at the question of me saying if they would smash you because your dad's watching. But you also said that you would smash Eminem, who's 50. No, well, I feel like <laughs> I feel like, I didn't <laughs> say that. Yeah. I think it's the fuck. I think yeah, it's the like fuck. fuck was a little. I like, didn't say that about Eminem though. I said if he asked me on a date, I would say It'd yes. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. That. I'm sorry. You said it's just because I don't like. You said you would go on a date with 50 Cent, no matter who you were dating. Not 50 Eminem. Cent. <laughs> I mean, I, was I don't. Cent. Maybe it's you. <laughs> you got 50 Cent on your no, mind. It's because 50 is because 50 is all. It's I mean because Eminem is 50 years old, so that's why I keep saying 50 Cent. <laughs> nah, it's I'm just like, like, I'm like look, that's your guy. You're you thinking nah, about in the club. No, nah, I'm thinking about you 50 years years old. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about the number 50. No, yeah, I feel you, but I'm gonna keep it a buck. I just, no, I'm I just don't, talking shit. I don't like to, I don't yeah. like to talk vulgar about stuff like that. Cause like, if I'm gonna be honest, like I always tell people this. Like I believe in waiting until marriage, so I don't like. I'm just not like that, and, and I think that when you're like around, I know you're laughing. I know you're. No, I think that is so. Like I, I pray. That my daughter is that way. No, nah, because like, it's because look, it's because yeah, of things that. And your daughter's not that far away from her age, so no, I get exactly. That. My daughter's ten. No, nah, because so. here's the thing: is a lot of people just like to assume stuff about me because they just see videos and whatever, and they they swear like all this stuff. Like I've seen horrible comments about me, like distasteful shit, and I'm like, I don't even carry myself that way, like around my guy friends and shit. Like they know how I am, and they, if anything, I feel like they see me as like too innocent to even think of me in that way because that's why i say like it's like a brotherly vibe like you know and, and i've never if any of my guy friends were to make me uncomfortable i would cut them off like i wouldn't keep around people like that a lot of them you know they're respectful towards my dad like they take care of me when we go out of town like it's never like on some weird shit um and like i said i just don't like to speak vulgar yeah. about myself sexually like i just don't like it yeah especially um, if you're not doing it and you yeah. remember me when i was i think i was around her age you You're remember you remember me when i was her age I would yeah be in the same room with the man Oh yeah, please. Yeah, I probably for a very long time I thought I thought I was. So you were just a horn dog. You were just like no, suppressing I, your no, horny. No, I'm saying at that age when. Oh sorry, <laughs> at that age when I was, I'm she's sorry, like, like a conversational person like trying to look at the person who's speaking to yeah. me. But um, <laughs> when I was, I when I was in um, ninth and tenth grade, I went to a Catholic school, and I wanted to be a nun. I, like I'm yeah. not joking I'm not saying it facetiously or anything yeah. I have had my sexual awakening I'm 34 years old I'm a grown ass woman now mm. it's a different experience but I understand and when I'm laughing I'm just it just I it's wasn't endearing. laughing at you I was laughing because it like brought me back to that place where I was yeah. ask her yeah. she knows she's known me since when I was counting down to 21 myself yeah. like <laughs> we've been friends for a very long time mm. I would not be in a room with a man like yeah. and and because of the fact that we were still making music back then, been doing it for a very long time, there were guys who would come in the studio. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't be in the studio with them alone. I didn't. It wasn't my thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. only you. And know, if it wasn't for the fact I got married at nineteen, but yeah. before that, like I was the late. Did you do that? Because did you do that? Because did you do that to feel comfortable about having sex? 
Maybe again, I was very, very Catholic. I was yeah. in CCD. I feel I was like in a lot church. of people who I are like in, Jehovah Witness, they do that. Well, like, I was, I was Catholic, in, but um, yeah. no, maybe. But also, like honestly, I think I was raised so like, you know, picket fence. Like you, you know, wait till marriage. Like you know, you want that security. Like that's the goal. Like I was just raised very traditional Mexican. Mm-hmm. Like my parents are very, very traditional Mexican. My dad was very like, you know, and like I said. Now I joke about not having a dad because whatever his life led him to whatever the fuck it led him to and we don't talk. However, um, I didn't lack a dad. My dad, was, I was very close with him. He's the first person that show, showed me how to sing. He read me the Bible. He put me in, like, he was, he made me very proud to be indigenous. Like, I, I never had this, like, feeling that nowadays people have of like you know like mexican or like and we talked about this the yeah. chicano thing like mm-hmm. my dad was like you are indigenous from mexico you christopher columbus didn't discover shit yeah. we were here what the fuck is anyone talking about so and this was pre tiktok and all these conversations this was just my dad teaching me this shit so that's why i think i was raised so like that way so yes i met somebody who was very nice blah 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 i'll never talk shit about drew's dad but i'm just like you know it's like i lived my life it was great i was married and it also helped me i think in my career that i was never focused on anything about my like personal life it was just like i was married i had a kid i knew my my house blah blah blah, and i was able to just rap every day every day i I was able to make music rap do my thing i feel free everything was cool like nothing was ever like you know and it wasn't until like we didn't work out that i was like then I was confused. Then I was like, wait, <laughs> what the fuck? Now I got to like have a career, but also be confused about my life, my where the fuck I'm going. Am I dating? Am I single? Do I want to be single? Do I not? Am I dating men? Am I dating women? What do I want to do? And then and then that's why I failed. No, I'm, just right. no, I'm like, you know, I think that's when I really became um, a little like not focused. So I understand feeling like if music is your priority and that's what you want to focus on, you shouldn't even worry about the other side. It'll figure itself out at some point because that's not really, you know what I mean? Like, do you find who you find? That you find being them? married helped you in the early days of navigating things because it's like you see it so much. Sorry, with rapping and rappers is that, especially women, mm-hmm. right? That everyone f their way to the top. Everyone, you know, <laughs> oh, they're insane. only getting. Yeah. that because there was someone or I still had those rumors. or like you know I think Sweetie was recently talking about it that she was saying like someone was like I'm not clearing my verse unless we unless I smash yeah so Ew. I think you know it is like I don't know if or that was, was, it, was it Mulatto oh no Mulatto yes, yeah right we're well, or Lotto now um, yeah. yeah sorry sorry but <laughs> like do you feel like that helped you navigate it because people were like Ocean Mary like, yeah, and there's even. still no. Yeah, it did, but also there was still rumors. people didn't care. There was still people saying shit. I remember when I had baby Drew. People literally in the little town that I was at were saying that they might be the dad. Mind you, I had never been in anywhere alone with this person ever, and they still like to this day. There's rumors that like in different places. I'm like, one, I was married. I never cheated on him. Two, if I did, it would have been a girl. It would not have been you. Like literally, you were <laughs> and terrible. also low key <laughs> copy paste with. Baby right he looks like his fucking father oh my god yeah but there was people that like even back then mind you this isn't a money thing i'm not like ah you bum but even back then i would have been like are you fucking kidding me i would not like you know what i mean like has nothing to do with like it's just like how fucking disgusting and you're still where you used to be it's always them broke bum rappers that never fucking made it that want to be like oh yeah well i one time and it's like oh shut the fuck up like nobody ever wanted you not even your wife that's why you're sad like sorry but i'm triggered no how old were you when you got married 19 yeah i had just turned 19 actually and got married in vegas maybe that's what goes on your 21st get married you know stop pushing her <laughs> Thought she gonna get married? I don't even have a boyfriend to begin with. First right. of all, not drinking. Yeah. <laughs> Vegas, get altering, married in your white dress. Say, but we no, ain't getting um, no. Sorry. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Go ahead, Lilo and Tony and you, you guys. Oh, I'll, I'll let's get you. married. I just wanna get married. Hey. Meet me at the altar hey. in your <laughs> white dress. Hold up, Remember we when? ain't getting no younger. We might as well do it. We ain't getting no. I know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when that song and wifey oh, dropped like back to back and it was like the competition of the wedding songs? Yeah. Oh, the, mm-hmm. Will you be my wife? Oh, yeah. Will that was the first single I ever bought. That's crazy. I the remember, instrumental, bitch. I put that shit on and I was rapping to it. I think the cringiest <laughs> thing that has ever happened to me is, and this was 
literally ages ago because it was when that's when the wifey song first came out and i had every summer i would go to my grandma's house and i came back and i was living in new york and my next door neighbor decided that he was going to ask me to go out when i got back from my vacation in new york and he sung that song uh, he had a whole performance they had lights i sunk into myself thank you and i was like i don't like you that, i mean it was so <laughs> embarrassing I, like, get that. I feel like you should not do public displays <laughs> of if you don't know if you don't are if you cannot already with like 99% accuracy, guess how the person's Beach. going to react? You should not do that. Wait, what do you mean? Displays. What do you mean? It's he true. set up this whole thing and sung the Will You Be My Wife song <laughs> to me. They had lights, everything. And I, but I didn't Wait, like where him. were you at? at? We were, it was New York. We were on the block. It was like, hey, That Arnold is true because it's like, it's like wedding. It's like a, what's it called? When people So your man just other. started singing to you? I, he wasn't my man. I was in eighth grade. I came oh, back from oh, oh. He just started singing. Eighth grade. grade. Okay, yeah, eighth grade. Okay. Yeah, and he was saying that asking, <laughs> yeah. me, asking to like go out. <laughs> You're a whole grown-up. And yeah, no, it Wait, was when the what? song dropped. That's how long ago it was. So it was, this is the 20 year anniversary of <laughs> yeah. Um And it was just so like, I don't feel like I've ever felt <laughs> that much embarrassed. Just, like stronger secondhand embarrassment. Yeah, that is true. And then the next day he was like, it's a joke. I was, felt yeah. strong secondhand embarrassment when somebody, I was on stage, right? I'm on stage. This is the quinceanera I never had tour. Mind you, I've had people ask people to get married on stage before, whatever. But I usually believe them. I'm usually like, okay, but, oh, yeah. but these two girls, I knew. They I proposed to you? Huh? They no, were bitch, no, no, no. <laughs> they, one of them was just trying to ask and I something was telling me nah because I was like, I think y'all just trying to fucking think and it sure as hell was, bro. I don't it know if fake. it was it was cloud chasing, and I don't know what it was fake. But I'm like, bro, that's mad fucked up because I like this tour is like this like healing childhood trauma for me. So it's like a keen say I never had. And I'm sharing my stage with you to be like all right, like, you know, because she kept asking and asking, and my ADHD, bro, if you <laughs> say enough is. shit, I'm, I'm like this, and I'm trying to ignore you, and then I'm like, what is it? I'm like, now you, now I'm pissed. Yeah, what do you fucking want? Now and I'm like, rage. Right. Now I'm like, what the hell? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Especially after she's like, will you marry me? And she's like, huh, yeah, or something. And then, like, they didn't even kiss. I was like, oh, okay, bet. Super fake. Weird as fuck. But everyone's like, But what if she sweet? didn't like PDA? What if she just didn't want to kiss in front of... They, one of them looked like she wanted kiss, to kiss me. Was I was like, bitch. I was like, <laughs> it was crazy. I was you like, know? man, I don't like that shit. Because it's, 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 it's fake. It's disingenuous. And then when people really want some shit like that, then I'm going to say no. no. And they're yeah. going to, you know what I mean? Vinegar and I've had dick. people really do it and they really are like happy as fuck. Like, or like queer couples. Obviously, I'm always going to have a soft spot whenever like queer couples are like, you know, they, they, I'm like, yes, of course. What do you want? Like, you know, but um, except for when people ask me if I'm going to get ordained and marry them i'm like that's a lot of pressure i'm yeah. like i think i'm gonna fuck that shit up pressure <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just sound hella mexican when you said pressure <laughs> say it again like that come on snow come on <laughs> come on it was funny you said that's a lot of pressure <laughs> come on. You what? I, don't I'm like, I don't know what i'm about to do uh, no all that. right all you right. think I'm just gonna on the spot fucking act like fucking Taco Bell Chihuahua right now, bitch? <laughs> you did it without me shit. asking. I'm dead. Anyway, Quiero um, Taco Bell. So <laughs> they used to be the little uh, the little stuffed animal. Do you press it? It's literally yeah. Poncho. It's Poncho. I have a dog named Poncho. <laughs> Yesterday, lit no, what was it? Two days ago, he was literally staring at me while I was eating Taco Bell, and I was like, "This is a full circle moment." <laughs> <laughs> is that racist of Taco Bell to use the Chihuahua? Probably. I feel like it's a, from a branding perspective, it makes sense. That's but probably is why it they stop. Culturally <laughs> insensitive. A Mexican dog. Yeah. A Mexican dog. <laughs> but I mean, it's like very... the Sholo. The Sholo is fucking fire. Pulled yeah. me up a picture of them. They could have used. They could have used the Pulled dog. Me up a picture of the goddamn Sholo. They could have used the dog from next Friday. I don't think that's, that's a Mexican not, that's dog. A that's, that's a Target dog. dog. <laughs> yeah. That's for white ladies that go to Starbucks. Yeah, but you missed, you missed the point. Because the one who owns the dog. <laughs> that's, oh, yeah. that's racist of you, Tony. <laughs> that's why I was making the joke. Just Cholo at that point. That's fine. And you don't be making this many jokes about Mexicans. I'm going to name you Tonyo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Look at him. Oh, oh he's so cute. If that's I didn't cute. have enough dogs. Taco Bell if I didn't have so many dogs, I would get one of these motherfuckers. They, they dope. Do you have dogs? Do y'all have dogs? Uh, Kay has one of these dogs. Who's, who's Kay? Kay Lonnie. She has one of these oh. dogs. Oh, nice. You have yeah, dogs? it's hella hairy. Huh? Oh, Wait, no. how is I'm it hairy? 
like it has i know it has a one spot that's like hella hairy like it has like a a little one spot in it it has a two see look it has one yeah yeah it's like you have a dog special no i wish i had a dog but i kind of like cats too i want like a naked cat what kind of dog do you want Huh? What kind of dog do you yeah, want? Yeah, that's basically the same thing, Jay. I want to... Uh, <laughs> he's side-eyed. He's side-eyed, Tony. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> he said, oh, fuck you, bitch. I like yeah, dogs so that look scary, to be honest. The like, that look like they could kill you and shit, but they're nice as fuck, you know? Have oh, you yeah. seen the... the, the like, what is that... Um, the... What is that big cat? The, the, the Maine Coon. Oh, the Maine Coon. Maine Coon yeah. yeah. is dope. The Maine Coon is fire. Pull it up. Get that, Jay. Maine Coon is fucking fire. No, it's amazing. It looks like a big-ass dog. I want one. And I'm not even much of a cat person. Look, show, oh, look at that lady with the cat. Oh damn! Yeah, like put it, tiger, wait, wait, basically. choose one so that you can see the relative, yeah, like how big they actually are. Oh shit! They be huge. They're like the size Aww, of a small pit bull. That's cute. Yeah, I love cats, but my mom hates them, so she says no. But Aww. I want a naked cat though. You're, you're. You know what though? Those ones you gotta bathe a lot, and they stink. They're the so ones? cute. They feel the like they feel like peaches. Yeah. Like yeah, my friend sphinx. has one. And they get a lot of fudge Jeez. under their nails. You have to like pull their nails back, and like all this nasty black shit comes out. <laughs> oh my god! And they smell. And how do you it, know so much about? Because I did. Cats? I did a music video where we had a whole bunch of little sinks in it, and the woman mm-hmm. who was who was raising them, she told us about them. And yeah, they like have a lot of secretion, and like how other cats like Thank you. they. I know. You know what I'm trying to say? Like their hair <laughs> catches. Oh, is yeah. a disgusting word. I know their That's hair catches it. Right so because they don't have hair, you have to bathe them more, <laughs> and you also have your your house has to be have to be at a decent temperature because they get too overly. Cold. They, yeah, they but no, they get um yeah they get too cold. You have to like make sure your house is a good temperature and stuff. But yeah, they like smell bad. I would like they slap like their butt. Like, like they kind of smell like booty. I don't think I've ever. Like, <laughs> imagine, oh my god, bro! So you want to wake up to this shit and like, mm. imagine you wake up this thing sitting on your chest. No, nah, like, but my friend's her, hers is fat. Me. He's, I mean, she's so cute. No, yeah, they're gorgeous. And they feel like a little like pee. Yeah. Yeah. Is that one like mixed with brain? What is going on with that one? Mixed with brain. That was, they just, it just looks like a, that one looked like a frontal cortex. I, I had to stop myself again because <laughs> I'm being inappropriate, but I was about to say something else. I'm like, what? It's so That's cute. Crazy. <laughs> Have you ever, did you see that one that was like that they rescued from a prison or something? He had a bunch of tattoos and they were trying to get <gasps> someone to adopt him from oh like God. a prison in Mexico. And I wanted him. My mom was like, no. Yeah. Like they tattooed him and they were like putting him up for adoption because he was like a famous cat in, in the prison over <gasps> there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that floor oh right there. Oh my God. The Wait, time out. Is him. the, remember you guys um, like I mean, years ago, fire, but it was like the um, <laughs> ugliest dog in the <laughs> no, world. <laughs> is that the Mexican dog you guys showed? No. Can you type that in? Ugliest, ugliest dog, dog in the world. world more fucking mexican slander i'm like no no it's not right, what yo, bro i'm about no, to bring my fucking mariachi outfit right now somebody not. bring my quinceanera outfit right now no. i'm fucking rep shut up i'm literally saying i, I I'm, I'm trying to see if it's oh, actually the same dog God. what dog is that i guess the second one does look like this no no that's a mutt that that thing was mixed, is it though? that's mixed with christopher columbus <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. That's oh not Mexican. My God. No. It's the side one, the, the one right there. That's the one that I remember when I was younger. I, I remember seeing it. No, he's not. No, he's not a Sholo. He's a fucking. <laughs> he's not. He's, he's not a Sholo. He's sh- a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. That's a shitty. He said, "What's that?" <laughs> no, Sholo. That's a shitty. That's not good. Oh, dude, he's not crazy when that happens, bro. Aww. That motherfucker right there. Nah, we not. I know. I was gonna say. It's a bad um, on Google Maps. No, it's a Sholo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's no, it's a, oh my god! You guys, it's a birth defect. Oh, I Google. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, he's a fucking NPC. <laughs> what? <gasps> oh my god! That's fucked up. Oh my Bro, god! Bro, Pancho would be very upset at y'all right now, making fun of his family member. Oh, oh my god! Okay, that that's photoshopped, real. but the other one was real. <laughs> yeah, the other one was real. <laughs> that's crazy. You know what? Would you still love the dog? I mean. If Chispa and Poncho That's what I was literally just like thinking that, about that Weren't you So my dog just got her dog pregnant And Allegedly, it happened yeah. as an accident I'm trying to make excuses here Because I was on tour A hurricane So it's her was, fault okay. No A hurricane <laughs> was supposed to be happening in California Were you here for Were you guys here for the fucking there hurricane There was no hurricane It was That's just wind saying. That shit made me so mad It cut my LA trip short And I had so many plans And I had to come home just for some wind Like for one day Yeah I and was I was so like, upset. what type of hurricane is this? Like, if I was going to experience a hurricane, I wanted, like, the full experience, you feel me? Right? right? Like, Texas. if you're going to scare me, yeah, like, exactly. Scare me. I was in Texas texting everybody <laughs> in Cali. 
I was in Texas texting everybody in Cali, like, okay, we need to do this, cover everything right, cover this, cover that, we need to get the dogs here, I don't want a tree to fall, I'm finding where my son's going, all this shit. I didn't think that in that whole thing I'm doing, None of us. my dog might fucking mm. around, like, impregnate a dog. I'm like, dude, that is the last thing on my mind. I'm thinking, like, I don't want a tree to fall on my family. <laughs> yeah. But then I guess this dude, with one ball, he has one ball. What like I, he's not even supposed. To- and I thought Chase Paul was a lesbian too. <laughs> oh. Are you okay? Yeah? I'm like, are you sleepwalking? No, my ankle needed to crack. Oh, and it was hurting. Sorry. Mine does that. How many three do you think you can shoot at my hoop and just like make them all? Uh, in a row. In a row, it, I'd have to warm up a little bit, but probably like <laughs> seven in a row. Can maybe. you dunk on an eight and a half? Oh. What is yours? What is yours? One of those, huh? Can you <laughs> <laughs> I said we oh, should. Play, those, we huh? should play. We should play knockout. That's what I said. Whoa! Oh, yeah. I have sumo suits. What is knockout? Do you want to get knocked out? <laughs> 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 like, knockout, knockout is knockout. like um, two. You play with two balls, and the first person shoots, and then if you miss it, you gotta hurry up and get put the layup. You gotta you know, gotta hurry up and I score don't know what it. A layup is, baby. A layup is like <laughs> shooting it off the backboard, yeah. up close. And then I while you're trying good. to make it, someone behind you is trying to make it. And if they make it before you, if the person behind you That's makes crazy. it before you, then you're out. That sounds insane. We get real yeah. competitive like over fun. here. Yeah, it's fun. Jay said she don't even play sport. Basketball. If you were to play a sport, what sport would you play? Um, I used to do boxing for a little bit for five years. Cause, okay. Yeah, because nice. my dad is, was like a boxing coach. So nice. I did boxing. If I could pick to be really good, at, I would pick boxing, like for real. Yeah. I mean, I still you, could, but I just... Do you think if you didn't sing, you would do that? That's actually where my name came from, yeah, because I was supposed to be a boxer because my dad, like... He rocked somebody's shit. He trained... <laughs> no, and my dad used to only make me spar boys, so that was a thing. But um, it, my Daddy's my boxing name was J-Rock. Yeah. J-A-Y-R-O-C. Um, but when I became a singer, I added the XXX, you know, like, paying homage to X, you know. But um, my whole life, that's what they would call me. Like, all my dad dad's friends and then himself, obviously, they would be like, what's up, J-Rock? Like, you know, that was my little boxing name. But if I could pick to be, like, really, really fucking good at something, like, sport, I would pick boxing. I'll do volleyball. <laughs> I think I, I would be do in water the polo. Water polo? Dang. Yeah, just because there's not enough black people in water polo, and I would love <laughs> to like spike the ball at someone's fucking head. Oh, oh my. <laughs> you Period. can say fucking head. Period. What about I you? Mean, you. <laughs> now I feel bad about play? cussing because she's a baby. Spike it at their She's that much of a baby. Like, like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> she don't she like to like, yeah, you know? scared of the word F. Which, for once, I'm protected by her because I know how Tony can get. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not I'm saying like, anything <laughs> crazy. I just, I just I asked a question. Tony podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's going to be yeah. the, the, the a day X, one. X, X, a day the one. XXX version after after night. And that's going to be the late night. I don't want Jay's dad to beat me up. She just said he was a boxing coach. The hell his ass going to want to? punch me <laughs> no yeah but um i would what would you play I, I i'm pretty good at soccer but i feel like if i could i would be better at basketball like i think I'm basketball good, but i i'm not gonna beat this bitch like uh, yeah. let's keep it a buck <laughs> she's like yeah, yeah. She's she's like, said, she's like, obviously she's <laughs> her whole her whole torso <laughs> <laughs> like, no please I, no, please but, no. <laughs> but honestly being casually good at basketball is such a fucking flex it's so such I, a I, skill I can, I can it's fun oh i still God. play i still play every wednesday i played this summer in the venice ball league i played in the drew league have you played Bitch, where, where, That's a hmm? lot of shit to do. I know. I just played in a celebrity game too. Hey, nice. it was it was random as hell. That's nice. a lot. Did you dunk on anybody? <laughs> no, I only played for like thirty seconds because everybody and their mom wanted to play. Oh, oh damn. Damn. And I'm not really the type of person that's gonna go out of my way and be like, "Hey, can you put me in, coach? You know who's coaching us? Juana Man. You know the movie Juana Man? <laughs> <laughs> that man who who plays her in the movie. I don't know his real name in real life. Yeah. Yeah. He used to he used to live in my building in Hollywood. And um, yeah, I hadn't seen him in a long time, and yeah, he was coaching us on the for the celebrity game. But yeah, basketball. If I didn't play, like if I didn't make music, I would just stop. (laughs) If I didn't, Tony, guess Tony dunking on me. (laughs) Not my titties in your mouth. (laughs) (laughs) Ew, the sound is actually disturbing. (laughs) The ASMR is fucking ass right now. But yeah, I would definitely play play basketball professionally if I didn't pursue music full time. Really? Yeah, I would. Do you think it would be like pro professional? Like, oh, I could make it to the WNBA like, if I wanted to. Hell and yeah. I really, Leslie I believe that, like, because I just have that mindset, huh? You think Lisa Leslie? I mean, Lisa Leslie's like six one, but yeah. I don't think I would ever How tall get are you? five six. <laughs> she could oh, dunk. Lisa Leslie could dunk the ball on what, a ten foot rim. What position do you play in basketball? Shooting guard. I could Shooting play the one guard? two though. I could dribble How the ball pretty well. Do you play on ten foot? 
Yeah, I found this girl. She was mad fine, and then she ended up being like five nine. I was like, damn. <laughs> you didn't like that? I'm five two? No, it's gonna be that's gonna be a hard. You know what I mean? Why am I holding her hand like this? <laughs> <laughs> Poncho and <laughs> poncho and cheese. Me a poncho. That is poncho I'm and cheese. The donkey with the fucking dragon. Yeah. Like that's crazy. I'm not trying to be the donkey here, Stop. bro. That's crazy. I mean, you know, you guys like, are the same size laying down. No, we're not. That it's actually not right. That's not correct. <laughs> that, I, that's just what short niggas say. So. <laughs> we the same oh, size laying down, like girl. <laughs> no. Y'all laughing at me now? I was trying to fun, no, be funny. No, 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 because you said that you'll be the same size laying down. So I'm like long ass. <laughs> That's what niggas say all the time when the when a woman is taller than them. They was like, "Hey, girl, don't worry about it. We the same size." Uh, sounds like a guy <laughs> comment. How many short guys said that to you? <laughs> I'm not that tall, so but I have a, I have a friend that's six five, and Damn. like <laughs> yes, yeah, literally she's six five. My, my best friend. Big, she played at Kansas, big, big. but a lot of guys would come up to us when we'd be out and they'd be like, I'm trying to climb that tree. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like that type of thirsty. shit. <laughs> that sounds like And why you like hanging with coming. them, girl? This is, this is why when we were like, because they probably don't talk to her like that because that's with their homie. No, no, it's I'm like saying, like, I'm saying dudes. that they do corny shit. Yeah. 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 Like, consistently men are good for doing corny shit. Is oh, it because like well well to touch back on that subject I just think that yeah I think overall like I like men are kind of annoying and their foundation could definitely be fixed um like the way they think and shit like that I like the way she and said that yeah, yeah that's no yeah for sure like I I definitely think that there's something wrong with a lot of them but mm-hmm. I still think that there are good men in this world of course and you, if you just have it's the way you carry yourself and you just have to be selective with the people that you allow in your life and then it's really not that deep you know what I mean yeah, yeah. but sometimes like, niggas be catfish though so no you can yeah be, you but can, if you can try your best to find the best and then they're gonna show you exactly Exactly what you want, and then when they get what you want, then they're gonna show you exactly yeah, what they the, are. Yeah, but the thing is, the thing is that like, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is that there's like, no getting, there's no getting what you want from me because like, what what are they gonna get besides a friendship? Like, I'm not interested in none of them. I'm not, yeah. I'm not over yeah. yeah. I won't, Not even verse. <laughs> not even my <laughs> homies that rap. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even do that. Bitch. So yeah, no, I feel that. I feel that though. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah, I mean that that yeah, just, just joke, joke. that is that is how it fucking is, and I think that's in but you know back to go to answer your question about the you know when I was like married and stuff or even now being queer, I think it it definitely clears, clears the path. It's like no, no bro, <laughs> like what yeah. what are we gonna talk about? <laughs> like, <laughs> talk about the writers <laughs> better though because I still like and it still happens and I be in full boy outfit and I'm talking about motherfuckers that got like. Of you course, know because they like the, the challenge that be happening. and they'd be like but are you sure because you have a son and i'll be like they no, like the right. challenge like, no, 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 it's actually. just yeah um the i even I get annoyed you when know, people say that like oh snow has a son how did that happen like right they'd be well, like well, the same way it happens to everybody else how, you, how was you born but i think wait was that poncho excuse me sorry guys Oh. Wait, if he's out, where are the other dogs? <laughs> right, and where's the chickens? Yeah. Um, um I know, right? <laughs> they said Jay, say some. All right, Jay, lead up? the topic. Ask a question. Damn, I don't know. They don't like, invite you to be the podcast person, but you gotta ask us questions. <laughs> Let's talk about me. So <laughs> ask me question. What, you to what does it me? feel like to give birth? Wow! That's Damn, I want I want to know because I look you scary. Think that fast? Wait, do you think that fast or you have that loaded? Were you driving over here? You're like, I'm gonna ask this bitch how it feels to get birth. No, because like I would eventually like kids, obviously, but like I think that that's the part that I'm scared of the most because I've seen so many like different researches and ways that kids are supposed to be boring. Like, and you know, there's like so much like di- misinformation everywhere. So I'm just what's wondering, your period like? like? It felt like Jello huh? came out. What's your period like? What do you mean? Do you Girl, have Do you have a really or, intense like, period? Nah. Okay, then your pregnancy is going to hurt. Damn. Because, I mean, it's just like contractions feel like when you have the most intense period you've ever had in your life times Mm -hmm. 10. And then towards the end of it, it's like basically the contractions build up. And then when it gets to the end, the contraction never stops. It's just a constant feeling. And then that's when you know the baby's Wait, about to come. Did you get an epidural? I had a natural. I had a natural birth at home. Yeah, of course, see, you I did. Get you none of that, girl. Get you an epidural. But get you get an epidural. You a C-section Fuck all that. Don't do it. Listen what to is me. Natural bitches. No, I'm listen, listen. listen. Give me that all I'm gonna say is this. All I'm gonna say is this. Dress. All I'm gonna say is mm. this. Right? I'm mm. not saying don't get an epidural. I'm not saying do get an epidural. I'm not saying either one. I'm saying in the moment, if you okay, it's all about like obviously it's a mental thing. So if you tell yourself that you were made for this and you can do it, and you believe it. 
then you're gonna I do it that way. Well, but if fair, you want epidural, then just do nah, that. Nah, I've always wanted to give birth naturally because, like, I yeah. see, like, I seen that supposedly. I mean, I don't know, like that, like it was like a perverted doctor that made up giving birth, like pushing it because it was a man, right? And but I've always wanted to give birth naturally because I seen that women are supposed to actually be sitting down and that's supposed to be a lot. It's still painful, yeah, like, but like less. You know, I was on my knees when I when I pushed my baby out. Yeah, but like. I, Oh yeah, I just think God. it's for like look, everyone's birth experience <laughs> is different, right? Yeah, so sure. like I wouldn't say just because mine was awesome and like I did it that way that you should. Mm -hmm. I think like when you actually get pregnant and you're going through your pregnancy and stuff, you're going to know mentally how you feel about yourself and what you want to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, like mm -hmm. when before I got pregnant, I always knew that I wanted to try to have a natural birth uh -huh. and I have the mindset that's like I'm going to do it. Like I want to fucking do it like that. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything wrong for people that don't. How long yeah, were you, you in know, labor for? I never I, thought about uh, having a baby birth? until I had one. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I never thought. Not, I, I was never like, <laughs> I'm going to be. No, 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 no. I was in labor for like. Sorry. When I found I out I was pregnant, <laughs> I started crying. I was like, my career, like my wannabe career is done. I was like, <laughs> I want to be snow. That's crazy. Well, I was like, damn, that's it. Like, you know, and people were like, what are you going to do? I'm like, well, no, I'm going to have it. I was already married. I had a house. Like, You're like, I'm like, Catholic. Like, I'm like, no, no, bitch. I bought the the summer the summer before I bought a house and it had a playground like I'm like there's no way I'm Whoa. not gonna have a you baby manifest. I'm like yeah. I, I'm married I have a house I have a playground bitch the, here we go you know yeah, and I, I had a condition where they had told me it was gonna be difficult and clearly that shit just happened so I was like dang yeah and then and then you know what is true though that she said that you just know like I started nesting. I started like making very, I started just, you're, you're, you know, it, that's what's amazing about like life in the universe is you just create, I don't know, you just yeah. create your little fucking space and you know what you want to do. The only reason that I did have an epidural and everything is I was induced. Baby Drew was like a week and a half yeah, late. Yeah. He would not come out. Yeah. And I was just like, I you was cozy? Like, I'm yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, he wouldn't come out and literally they were like, bro, we've been here for, well, the doctor wasn't like, hey, yo, bro. <laughs> but he was just like, it's taking a really long time. What do you want to do? Blah, blah, blah. And I was in so much pain and his dad was so annoying. Was like, what does it feel like? I'm like, what the fuck? My dude, it fucking hurts. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, and then the nurse was like, do you know when you're lifting weights and somebody keeps talking to you? He's like, yeah. I'm like, she she was like, um, that's probably what she feels like. She doesn't want you talking to her. Yeah. And I was like, Ding. Thank like, you. Let Thank him you. know when to come in. <laughs> they know. Ever. And what I was thing, like, and stay up here, please. Like, do not go down here and look at anything. Yeah. And so my I mom was like, say, Yeah, what was your birth like? I, my kids were both ten pounds. So holy shit, damn. I was nine pounds with when my I was daughter. Born. I God damn. Yeah, I would say definitely oh, like look into that see like mm. hat what size is like talk to your mom like I, I, one thing that i would just recommend during your Ten whole pounds. pregnancy period is like talk to the women around you like your side of the family your i husband, think i'm gonna just adopt whoever this. side of the family <laughs> like good call. My, like no. you know my kids were very large i don't i didn't come from having large kids but my daughter her collarbone actually got stuck so i had to i had an epidural i also had a episiotomy they thought she was going to be eight pounds they induced me not because she went over but because they thought that she was going to be large he ended up being 10 pounds my son ended up being 10 pounds 10 ounces and holy he was a shit child he was Having, a full grown man literally yeah, 11 literally pounds came out of the hospital wearing three month clothes yeah like, that's he was insane just a large child and he wasn't long <laughs> yeah, he walked out like, like, he was just steppers. big yeah <laughs> he's a big white man my son was white with blue eyes when he was born. I'm like, big. Yeah. did big you have a baby man. with a white guy no both my kids were black oh wow <laughs> <laughs> did his features change girl. did his features change as he got yeah. older mm -hmm. yeah because like that me now like, that's was like six pounds and he still ripped me i had several stitches that's how my like, that's how my damn. um my boyfriend was um, super light features when he was born but now he has like dark features but our daughter yeah. has light hair now yeah, yeah like yeah no, my so son cute. had Thank when so. i say that he was look like oh uh, like mitch mcconnell like my son was white he had a comb over three strands of straight oh ass God. hair I, was like, I had a I lot of hair too no my playing. baby daddy I had hair too I'm white. more concerned with the f I'm confused you was nine pounds how you so little I don't know but my all my cousins <laughs> my mom's no. sisters they are really really skinny and they came out bigger no I like adults the same too. thing like LJ he's way bigger than my kids but he was like six pounds two ounces like, he was, like I always a, had to struggle with the fact yeah. that baby Drew was so little and then he was pictures. always little so moms were always like other like They're friends were like out. oh my god he's so little like blah, blah, blah. and I was like shut the fuck up with your big ass baby fuck <laughs> <out of> here, <laughs> like, look at my baby daddy what, what, <laughs> See, what the fuck I'm so mad bro cause <laughs> bitches always want to compare their kids and I'm like stop comparing don't make my son feel like less bitch I'll beat your ass right now come on Snow talk that shit Snow I'm like what talk that shit 
shit. Talk that shit. Don't talk shit about my baby. Don't talk shit about my baby with your big ass baby. My my I'm sister, sorry. perfect. Hey, sorry. Is that, that is with you? Baby. Huh? Defending you? That's dope. That's yeah, what, of course. That's, that is something like that. That's I am with my son. I'm like... 18. I feel like it's crazy because like my dad has to hold back a lot though. Because I know there's definitely moments where my dad like wants to beat someone no, up, but he just really can't because you have to stay like collected, you know? Yeah. That's well, when control. we were at Hollywood Horror Nights, I was looking at that girl and I was like... Uh, yeah, I remember that. <laughs> She's so smiling. <laughs> I still don't even know what was going on. Like I'm I, tell you, I'm, we I literally confused. thought you guys went to the bathroom. We're all just like, oh my god, that was so scary. Hi. I know. I was out. like, don't ever go to the bathroom again. I was like, <laughs> shit. Oh, just, though, story baby Drew, when I walked out the, the bathroom, baby Drew was like, <gasps> and I, I knew he knew, and he was like, I saw that. I was like, I know. I was like, I'm sorry. And I, you know what? I was calm and yeah. collected, but I was like, don't, you know. And we'll talk about it in a second. But yeah. I need to drink some water before i incriminate myself on camera <laughs> just like the last time bitch how lit was i on that podcast where i'm literally sitting there playing video i was like i woke up i was like Ido, can you edit can you delete that real quick i gotta pee no go ahead mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> i'm dead yeah what oh yeah. my god i remember seeing that that's a but i feel like it was in what year was it again? No, no, no. Two, Two feet, feet tall. tall. That I feel like that low key. <laughs> That's not that yeah. long though, oh, really. Because yeah. a baby's yeah. typically yeah, like not saying tall, but yeah. like some kids are like twenty two. Like, my baby was twenty two inches, oh. so I could okay. see being two. Twenty two inches. Yeah, my baby was twenty. Lily was twenty two inches. She was seven pounds six Wait, ounces. Twenty two inches. Yeah, that sounds, sounds normal. Long, no, Mine no. Were both like eighteen, seventeen, eighteen. No, twenty two inches. So was that? Yeah, they were just a C section. You know, I feel like baby Jew is. Yeah, I feel like most kids long. around 20. Yeah, I feel like yeah. most kids around 20. Yeah, mine were, that's what I say. Mine were short and fat. Fat. Like, they were 10 <laughs> pounds, but they were only like 18, 19. Yeah. 17 and 18. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because my baby plateaued. Like, like, Lily had a fat ass head for one. <laughs> Like literally, my baby had a fat mm-hmm. head, and that's yeah, another I'm thing. Watching the podcast, that's, like, that's, that's, that. that's another thing too, Jay. Is what I'll say is like they talk about something called the ring of fire, mm-hmm. and so that's like the moment that the head is starting to come through. Oh my god, that, that is no, that no, is no, I can't no, lie. I've never heard of no that's ring of fire. That is it's painful. No, oh it's painful. God. It feels is, like never okay. Mind. I was gonna, I was gonna say something inappropriate again, but I'm not. But yeah, <laughs> ring of fire. I never heard about a ring of fire. Yeah, nothing of. That shouldn't be on fire. Crown. Yeah, it's very like when the head is coming out of the vagina because that's basically the most stretch your vagina is going to go mm-hmm. it's the most intense feeling of it all basically yep. mm-hmm. and i had an episiotomy so i was cut so i didn't feel that full effect but when it did start i felt that through my epidural yeah but what i will it's crazy oh, the thing that i, no, I felt it when i had to pee just, afterward like, <laughs> period yeah. yeah you gotta spray the little thing and then uh-huh. like, spray this before yeah. you have to pee yeah, and it's not wipe. feeling no yeah, better yeah that's another yeah. thing too you're like oh. yeah it's like you're gonna have to breastfeed and then chewing, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, yeah. I will breastfeeding never be the same. is more harder to me <laughs> than I think. Like, breastfeeding is the most slept on, like, difficult thing mm-hmm. that pregnancy mm-hmm. doesn't talk about enough when you're pregnant. Okay, that you're crying but having to feed the your child. Girl. Yeah. Oh. 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 And then I gotta go yes. drop a freestyle two hours later. And I'm like, go drop a freestyle. <laughs> people, act, people act like you're crazy and like your hormones are crazy while you're pregnant. Your first year po- postpartum. Your hormones are so off the fucking chain. Like, you don't even know who you are. Like, you're adjusting to being a mother. Your hormones, every period symptom that you could possibly imagine, like, prolonged. Like, you're just, it's, like... The way they say it's a lot. Like... (laughs) Not like I was vibing. I'm with like, your placenta, no. like they can, they can make like oh drops my of yeah. your placenta. God. Like they say, it helps with your hormones or something like she that. She came yeah. here and got ambushed by a bunch of angry women. No, oh no, I know. There was no doubt. Right. No, but she, she was the one thing her. that I would say as someone who like who wants to be a mother in some time in the future Me. is like Talk my one me. piece of advice that I would give to anyone is just to don't feel pressured. Like I felt so pressured, like to breastfeed to have a natural birth like to like whether to circumcise not circumcise if you're having a boy like there's so many things that like <laughs> mommy blocks and when you're in that nesting <laughs> phase you will learn more about like circumcision than anything yeah. in the world like there's so many things that people can criticize you for like in the whole process of childbirth and being pregnant and really just do what's right for you yeah. like if you want to do all natural if you want to go in the hospital if you want to be in a birthing center there's so many options that you have and just do what's right for you because 
at the end of the day, <laughs> nothing else will. The way make we're talking to her is like she she literally like said she pregnant. don't got a boyfriend. Like <laughs> we're, we're like, like prepared. Well, I'm her. And you're really thinking on. about this. I think that I would like like if I could pick an age to have kids like 27, you know. I what I say about my 27 rule. 27. That door. I'm sorry. 27 okay, is the year when everything Listen. changes. I feel like 27 is I think is a 27, 28 year. too. Yeah, 27 is a perfect for perfect age. I yeah. like I feel like I want to get married kind of youngish. I mean, I have to get a boyfriend first, but like I would like to, you know. Don't rush anything. I I don't want to rush anything. I just think that that's like my dream, you know, to like Yeah. Because like I don't know like how, how Snow saying like you know how she was raised very traditional like me too, so like I just feel like a not too young, but like a youngish marriage, you know what I mean? I feel like it would be cool, but I don't know. Maybe maybe in the future I won't feel the same way, but... I don't have no. an age gap on when I want to have a kid, but I do want to have a natural birth. Like, that is set in my mind. Same. Like, I want to have a natural birth. Yeah. You can do it. I'm already... I, I say, want you had, you said you have one, right? Yeah, you, yeah, you can do it. So many questions. Yeah, you can do it. If you if you want to do it and you believe you can do it and you're mm-hmm. not high risk for any reason, if you set your mind to that, you're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to. It's yeah, get uh, a good yeah. doula. If you, uh, to me, if you want to have a natural birth, get a good doula that you can really trust we'll, te- was, we'll technically get a midwife yeah because 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 a midwife is typically their oh, like their their license yeah. they're <laughs> typically a licensed nurse mm-hmm. and a doula is more so for emotional support yeah. yeah so the midwife is is someone who actually has a nursing i mean they actually have a certification as a nurse mm-hmm. and they're they can draw blood they, like any like all the stuff that happens when you when they come to your house and they draw your blood and they do all the genetic testing for you and they do all the technical scientific shit that a doula can't do le- yeah. legally, the the doula is just supposed to be your uh, emotional support. Yeah, Most, that's if you have, say, like, if or, you have a great partner, you don't need a doula. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If you have a good partner who's like gonna be obviously be How there. I have a whole baby. I don't know what the fuck a doula is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mama mama but, said yeah it's just an em- it's just an emotional man. midwife is someone hand. who actually can deliver the sometimes, baby sometimes bitch no, I'm <laughs> yeah but yeah the midwife is someone who actually has their degree well not degree but they're actually a certified nurse yeah and they can do blood work they can do all the stuff that uh that that you know the hospital can do for you at your house <sighs> and they also can deliver the baby yeah i don't know <laughs> i'm never carrying another baby again hopefully <laughs> god willing i find a girl that's gonna want to carry a baby and that's it and I this time i'm gonna be the baby daddy <laughs> you know it's a lot easier to be the baby daddy than it is to be the baby mama i am tell you that right now yeah. i don't gotta push it out poncho <laughs> yeah. look at look at poncho <laughs> he's like word baby daddy status for real he's the- bro look at him can you put him in that camera real quick because he people need to see him <sighs> look me. at poncho bro or bring him over here Unless I'm gonna freak out Oh my Look at him Someone said there's death doulas also Yeah There Wait, are Wait what? what? Uh-huh. Really? I want one of those yeah. right now What does that do? Basically just someone there For emotional support When someone in your family dies Oh, oh when they For the person oh, Like thought, for the living For the family For the like living Kind of yeah. like a chronic illness or something Yeah basically It's like when someone <laughs> is about to die yeah, I thought it was for the what? person who was dying. I feel like no, I like thought it was I for the I family. If I was gonna die, I would need a doula to walk me. Oh. I just that. I maybe that is what it is. But I thought drugs. it was for the family. I thought it was like the emotional support, <laughs> like helping the family yeah. go person through. Person in the comments. Yeah, help us. Is it for the people um, who is about to die, or the people Google that it. are gonna be dealing with the death? Wait, what? Sorry, a like death doula? Is it for the family? Is it for the person dying? They know you. We collabed, right? Uh yes. Do well, you again. said it. You said it one time on a on a live. Oh, I'm the big. And mouth. then you were like, "Was I supposed to say that?" It was funny, but it's okay. I don't care if people know. Okay, and we collab. Yeah. And every and time I go live on TikTok, your fucking fans come and ask me about it. <laughs> so what, we gonna drive it? We gonna yes. shoot the video? What yes. Do? Yes. Chat. 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 Chat, Whoever chat, wins chat, on. Chat. Uh, so we all <laughs> shooting videos. I think all three of y'all should collab as one. I think. I oh think no, I definitely think we should do that too. I think I want to hear. I want to hear some shit like. Like, I want to see what one hour worth of just... Look, I feel like even Lilo want to do some background vocals. I do. Can I get in on it? Period. I don't want to I want to hear it when it's done. I don't I'm wanna... glad she said, I don't want to be there. I want to hear it when it's done. <laughs> All right, so you go find I'll be this. emotional support. Yeah. yeah. Like, you got this, snacks. no. I think people forget how much whoever's in the studio, if they're just having a good time or they're vibing, like, what that means. Yeah. yeah. Because if you're recording... Not the harmony. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah. It was like perfectly harmonized. Yeah. That was exactly. Yeah. I know. That's I want to learn how to harmonize. If I was in the studio and, and you got like some dead faces, it. it'd be like, 
Mm-hmm. Bro. No, and that's like you better off me. going and finding me some pizza. I know when I'm a vibe killer. Like <laughs> I like and that's how it is that like if I hear I would look at it like if I hear this fucking line one more time with the <laughs> inflection on this song line, I, I don't girl buy I'm like I like love I mean, it because yes. I'm hey. like, ooh, I knew the song before all y'all. No, I know the song. You got a pet peeve. I remember the last time we were in the studio and you kept repeating whatever anyone was saying, but you would do it with a little bit of a twang. And I was like, are these people making fun? No, it wasn't I you, was like, but I get that's your creative space and you were, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, no, don't invade my shit. So I, I got it, but we weren't making fun of you. We were making fun of AJ. That's, that's even for fucked up. We're collaborating. True. But like I said, I get it. Like that's it's your creative space. So she was like, like we're hey, jamming, y'all we're vibing, we're loving it, and then people are just like, yeah, imitating you. us, and we're <laughs> just like, mm-hmm. and that's not really my problem. I think like, that's what I, I love when I'm just... about, like, like, like the ho- like you know when you get like the hoes, like they're they're there, they just be happy to be there. Like you just get <laughs> she's like, like they shut up, they don't say the hoes don't fucking care. <laughs> they be like, hey, we vibing. I'm like, mm, that's right. Like we pretty <laughs> fucking vibe. That's it. Yeah, like <laughs> but I learned my lesson after that, that night, that. and then after that, I was just like, "Let me, let me, be, let me be, uh, the What's the equivalent to but, your like? You, what you do? You record alone? Huh? What's your equivalent to like um, me? I like like if I'm not alone, absolutely. Uh-huh. I need the vibes. I need people like you know. Even if you like, even if you are just having a good time, or even if you're like, "Yo, that was whack," then stand on your shit. I don't like when people are like. I love that. And, and I can tell it's not real. Yeah. Tell me the truth, but stand on your shit. Is it dope? Is it not? If it's not, tell me the truth. Whatever. See, okay, so... Or get the fuck out. Both of you guys came up kind of... Well, at least from what you said was like more internet stuff before, you know, like aging ourselves here, me and Snow. But like when we were rapping together... Before the we, wheel. Before the wheel was created. Sorry, yes. <laughs> we had to go out into like these bars in San Diego and we would be performing for people. And they were so uninterested. Like literally, we would be putting a full show. Let's say this is a show. This would be people. <laughs> Just their back. We were performing to the back oh, of their head. Like the back scary. of their head. I'm like, wait, hold on, bitch, because the times that I was performing, I remember no, like, that one bar. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> no, but I'm just the saying, like, stuff. the first, like, no, I'm saying, like, the first ones that we did, like, when, like the regular ones. Where Snow says, like, speak no, for yourself. No, 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 it's because it was speak different times. Okay, because yeah, okay. no, no, I had, I had when, when, um, last one standing, <laughs> which is what got that one bitch in, in San Diego very mad. Last one standing, that was very much, like, me by myself, Mike. And I'm awkward, and then I would start rapping kind of slow, and then I would speed up, and then people would have to pay attention. Yeah, but, but those were we events do... that were for rap. Remember those ones? When that I we would, would do fun shit, at, that were literally that were like, it was like a local bar. People were there after work drinking, and mm. they would be like, "Hey, we have a stage. You can perform." But I think you're also forgetting that I met you like a little bit in between time. Like yeah. I met like when by the time I met you, like I had done some of those and I knew when I got very rappy rappy, people liked it because it was just shocking. But like when we did fun songs, they didn't like that, which is the same thing that just happened to me on Santa Fe Clan's tour. I have butter. I have certain songs that were fun. They wasn't they want me to it the impress vibe. them. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like also as a rapper, sometimes you got to know when motherfuckers like literally just want to pay attention to you because you're impressing them. Or like if I'm like, hey, I'm having a good time, blah, blah, blah. They're just like, we don't care. We want to listen to some other shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Does no, that happen for singing? Honestly, like I feel like it wasn't it even that. Yeah. What it was is that those people weren't, they were there getting their fucking five o'clock drink after work. They wasn't uh-huh. worried about us. But it was good practice. Like it was good yeah. practice to be on a stage and to kind of like cut your chops to where it's like there are going to be people who don't give a fuck yeah. about what you're doing. No, yeah, definitely. While you're there. But it was very like, they didn't give a fuck. They could have been listening to the jukebox. They did not care. They were there yeah. for their <laughs> their um, post work drink, and they yeah. wanted to sit at their local bar <laughs> and drink their MPB and leave. Like, and that's what they came to do, and that's perfectly fine. But I think that it's very. I think like what would be for you guys like the internet version of that because i feel like there has to be internet something where there's version? people who are just uninterested <laughs> they just like don't watch your shit like you just get low views you get a lot, low of, comment, a lot of hate comments like for example this bitch I went, <laughs> I went to snow's concert and there was a lot of fights okay that's y'all whoever the fuck was in the crowd i wasn't up there fighting the fuck <laughs> i'm like why y'all yeah, fighting even like, you're like, in a sumo suit was it in vegas be mad at yourself why are you fighting you're in the sumo suit 
<laughs> right, I'm like that wasn't me like we know why y'all be fighting, and it's not because drunk. of her music or none and of that. And somebody so said drunk it. love. I I was performing drunk love in <laughs> Vegas, and there was like ten fights, bro. I'm like now I'm on the Vegas phone just talking fights. with you because I'm drunk and I miss you. Bop, bitches is getting punched. Why? Why did this just happen? And then people blame you. They're like the snow show I'm like what the but it's literally because in Vegas people like there's fights literally in the meet and greet line before doors open everything opens there people are just drunk and fights and calling the cops on people and Thank calling you. out restraining orders and, and all I kinds know what of that shit. is but as a person who tours a lot you, you're touring now right um I toured for like three years this has been my calmest year okay but you yeah. you you have shows out in the on the road do you do you it's have them like do you have them like sync like is it a tour or is it like you weekends you go out do you do one-offs mm, it's like a tour it's like plan like a year ahead um and mm -hmm. like i just i have to go you know to so the yeah. shows that i'm that i'm promoted on and shit like that oh but you're like headlining opening what do you do um it depends because there's like different they're different shows you know so sometimes yeah. it'll be like the three headliners which will be like say like me mc magic and like little rob or it'll be me mc magic little rob baby bash whatever or sometimes i am the opener for those mm -hmm. shows or sometimes it's like a event where there's like a hell of people like you know like ice cubes there and like there's like yeah. a bunch of other artists in between yeah. and i'll be an opener for those types of shows um it's just different every time to be honest yeah so when you're doing those type of things do you read the crowd or do you always have the same set list um i dummy read the crowd because they're different like mm -hmm. they're different because sometimes it's just like only old people so then i'm like all right i'm gonna sing like my more sentimental like that type of shit because i know older people appreciate like real real raw music and then when it's like a younger crowd i'm like all right it's like, like more like rapping stuff and more like vibey type shit you know what i mean so mm -hmm. i definitely do because i i could feel when a crowd doesn't now i don't want to say it doesn't like me but like is not fucking with you it's so easy to tell mm -hmm. and then i'm just like damn like you know but um I could definitely sense it into like depending on the crowd, like that's just the vibe. But with that you I go saying that you have no, with you saying that you have no stage fright, that's already a win because you're just kind of like up there and you're like, okay, you bet. Real quick. like what the fuck, right? No, yeah, it's because when I'm on stage, like I'm just like not even in my body. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like you. I'm just like I don't know how to explain it, but like I'm just not there. Like and everyone's like, how do you do this? And I'm like, to me, it's just not crazy. It's not hard. Like I just be, I don't know. Like I don't know. Like I just don't. The first time that I ever performed in front of like a bigger crowd, I opened up for Miles Behavior when I was nineteen. No way. <laughs> and um, I had got home like I was being home from college. I used to be so nervous about performing live back then. This was my second time like really performing for performing, mm -hmm. and it was like twenty two hundred people. Bitch, I was taking shots of Ciroc in the back to sing in front of nine year olds. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? I was back there. Right, and we vibe and we vibe. But low key, kids be more mean though. Kids are, kids are more mean than adults. I feel like because uh, I just went on a cruise recently and it was like mostly old people, um, and they Wait, all loved me. It? I feel like my mom went just went on a cruise for me. It was to Antenada and it, like it was only old people. Like I did, I did not see anybody my age there, but it was chilling. Like I had so much fun. I made friends with every single old person in the elevator. Were talking to me after the show. I was like famous oh God, over there, but old. no, okay, <laughs> no, but, like, <laughs> Five, wow. and she's Dude, like, they're, they're like, fuck. they were like in their like 50s, 60s, 70s type. Like yeah. they were getting lit. So I was like, damn, not even me. I love your cruise ship, baby. I've no, never been yeah, on a cruise. It was yeah. fun. I've been on a cruise. I'm kind of scared. On a do it one time, I'm supposed snow. to, but that's Just one. Like I want to. But I'm saying. <laughs> I'm trying to do but do one that's like five days, three days. Don't do a seven day one. Oh, yeah. I don't want to leave after. Yeah. How long day. was your cruise? It was a three day cruise. Yeah, yeah. but see, I I love old people though. Like I love snow. Do the three. Don't do. Fifth day on a five day cruise. Yeah. You're like, if I see this motherfucker one more time, you see the same people on this same hair. Swear to God, in the same jeans. It's been the five day. Like maybe it depends on the it depends on the it depends on the size of the ship. Yeah, I think mine had four thousand. And you said you performed. So did you perform? Every, every night? night or like one night was it the last it was night? three night when we were there for three days i mean i performed two of those nice. two of those nights yeah and then it's just cool because like old that's people, kind of a really cool um thing to get booked for yeah mm -hmm. realistically yeah because like, i just get, get to get enjoy the cruise, cruise yeah. for the rest of the time well, like, you want to know what's up, something that's funny that we were late on that i don't think anybody knows huh that MC Magic was like our first like collab. Yes, Magic <laughs> showed so me funny. that. That was so long ago. I do think, and mind you, and Magic, mm -hmm. I will. Mm, <laughs> is that that collab actually happened like two years before he ever decided to drop it? Once I started kind of popping, then he dropped it, and I was like, bro, Makes I don't sense. even dress like that no more. Makes That's sense. The, <laughs> let's shoot the video again. At the time, I'm like, I was on an Apple box standing, and the I just the outfit. I'm like, bro, it's two years later. Like, let's fucking reshoot the video. But I was like, all right. 
right? Whatever. But it was it was mm-hmm. dope, and I do always give respect to Magic because he was in the Chicano market. They, nobody gave me love. I feel like more black artists and white artists, a lot of different people fucked with me before Chicanos did. So I felt like I didn't know why. And that's why when you had that whole thing, I, I did want to be like, I, I was a little bit on your side because I'm like, bro, when I was coming up, and this was Pocos Pero Locos time, Little Rob time, fucking mm. everybody. I don't think I had the backup that I feel like I should have had considering what I was doing. Right. At the time, I was on Mundos. I was I was a Chicana artist, you know, getting a million views on YouTube. At that time, bro, that shit yeah, wasn't happening not... independently. Yeah. Then I go get signed to Atlantic. Like, I'm doing all these fucking things, and motherfuckers are acting like they don't see me. And I'm like, to, at that time, right, I was pregnant. Nobody knew. But I would do these little lives on Ustream, and, I like, my, my table was right here, and I would be pregnant. And I'm just like, it was... It was like fucking me up because I'm like, bro, you know how hard I worked. You know I sold CDs on the street. You know how much I fucking went through. And mm-hmm. the fact that I'm watching these motherfuckers just dead ass ignore me. And then I go, I remember one time I went to Pocos. You're, I mean, you're you're young, but yeah, I'm sure your dad remembers Pocos Pero Locos. So I go to do this interview, which at the time is a syndicated Chicano rap show mm-hmm. every Sunday. It's right there. And I talk to Shorty and she off camera goes, yeah, I remember my husband um, showed me your music. Um, like three, four years ago. And, uh, you know, it was like in the morning, early in the morning. She's like, and I saw it and I was like, oh, she's dope. And I went back to sleep. And I was like, at the That's time. That's a wild thing to say to someone. You had Sorry. a syndicated <laughs> show. You could have put me on. You could have done anything. You could have fucking, you know, I don't know. I could have gave you some money, anything. But you decided to ignore me and let me struggle. And I had, a, I was pregnant. Then I had a baby. You're I had $20 money. in the bank account. Then I got fucked over by an independent label owned by Mexicans. I got, I got fucked for years and motherfuckers just dead ass ignored me and i was like so that's why i will say that with mc magic at least that was the only motherfucker that like gave me a collab and i was like hey it's lit um so i show love to him shout out to mc magic you feel me that was dope because he didn't have to and that was a collab with twista and like i was like hey that's fucking fire um so i forgive you shout out to twista two years later but okay (laughs) whatever um beggars can't be choosers (laughs) okay (laughs) You're like, ignore this bitch, she's drunk. No, no but that ass. It is, it is like that. And I feel like I feel like for a long time, that's why when you said that and people was coming at you about the Chicano thing, I was like, this is my time to get my lick back. First of all, <laughs> I'm not going to talk about her like that because I'm going to let y'all know something. No, but it is true, bro. Like, you know, it's been a, it's been a hard time for Mexican-American rappers for a long time or artists yeah. for a long time. And I do feel like a lot of times we are the main reason that we don't get ahead and I, I to me I was like I'm not gonna watch this shit happen again like I feel like you guys ride make, for each other though but I feel like the, it's always the black <laughs> it takes a long time to get us. there I'm yeah. not gonna lie I feel like it's yeah. always the black the community saying that about us greater. do you but feel like it takes also, a, like a minute to it, get to that point but when you guys do get it you guys go hard because people, yeah, I see the chat yeah, saying exactly. Chicago always loved you. And you know, Chicago, Chicago got hella Mexico. Did. Chicago always loved me. <laughs> no, <laughs> Mexico. Chicago. And she's uh, Chicago. Never been to Chicago. Her I'm, from, in Chicago. I'm from Chicago. Her family's Wait, in Chicago. Wait, there's Mexicans I, in Chicago? I, I, oh, Chicago. oh my gosh. Hell I thought yeah. it was what? more like Puerto Rican. No, 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 that's the first place I went to that I was no. like, I got fans and they're singing Yes, literally, song. like people love snow in Chicago. I want to go to the No, I know they do. I know they do. I love them. And the Mexican food in Chicago? And then Detroit. Detroit made me cry. Like that was the first time I heard people. Most of I mean, not Detroit. Season. Fucking sorry, well, Denver. Not Mexico. Detroit made me cry because mm-hmm. that bitch almost got her ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> Denver. Denver made me cry. I will say, from the outside looking in, I think, and obviously, I'm not one to speak because I'm not from the culture. So, with a grain of salt, with a big old heap of salt, I think that it's kind of sad that you know, as someone who doesn't oh know God, the I intricacies of the culture from like a very American here. lens. One of the biggest representations that God, you have so seen bad. of Chicano <laughs> culture is Gwen Stefani. I would like, bitch, yeah. shut the fuck up. But no, I'm just saying, like, if you Gwen turn on Stephanie. MTV, like, yeah, she I know what she, you're talking about. Her style was very influenced by if, by all like, that she, stuff. She yeah. really, I guess. No, she's not Hispanic. She appropriated the culture. It was like a combo. I love Gwen Stefani. It was like it was like it was Barbie mixed Chicano with culture. Yeah, yeah, it was. And what, like the Kylie what was the song she did? I think like everybody has borrowed from Mexican culture when yeah. it's when it when they need to, and then they go and fucking mm-hmm. do country. Yeah, yeah. which is the same thing that can be said about like black, black culture. culture yeah preaching it's the, the same thing that can be said about black culture there's but a lot of people that will borrow from black culture and the moment it is no longer appropriate for them or they no longer feel like they need it they mm-hmm. go to another fucking genre and maybe we are a little bit older to be fucking saying that shit but at the same time we need to understand that 
you know, for a long time that was done because there was higher powers in music doing that. And we also need to be the ones to be like, we're not blaming. I wouldn't blame Gwen Stefani. I think she no. was, she was, she loved it. She, she liked Chicano culture. Mm -hmm. thought, she thought it was dope. She loved the Virgin, the Guadalupe, whatever, uh -huh. whoever the fuck was above her as far as, you know, money was telling her what to fucking do. And she did it. And then she moved on to whatever she, she saw was needed. And at the time it was different. They yeah. didn't, they didn't get it. But right? also, but I will to say, defend it and say it's LA culture. It's not. It's yeah. not. It's no. not no. like you know what I mean. That's the thing where I Say feel like it becomes a little bit like it's like you know we you we have to call shit what it is. Yeah. Wrong is wrong. It was wrong 15 years ago and it's fucked up now. Yeah. And for someone like I'm saying, speaking from outside the culture, looking in and being like, the first time that I've seen that culture on MTV was Gwen Stefani is wild. What was that yeah. song called? Oh no, yeah, definitely. Snow, wait, 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 Snow, do you ever see the um like people in Japan who love Chicago? Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. yeah that's hard. I fuck with that. That's just you know, yeah, yeah, which but, is dope. But even which is that, dope, I feel like it's more pre pre appreciation than appropriation. Which is dope, but I'm a, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a little it's older funny. in the sense that like when people do do that because they are white or Japanese or anybody else, they see it as like, oh my god, dope. It's an ode to Mexican American culture. Mm -hmm. When they I don't was understand coming the up, struggle. if you did it, you were pigeonholed. Yeah. I went and signed to Atlantic Records when yeah. they literally said you are going on the Talk taco that shit. circuit. You're going on the taco circuit. And if you were doing rap and you were po signed to pop, you were doing the chitlin circuit. Mind you, obviously, yeah. I can't fucking say that shit. But look, the fact that these are multimillionaires talking about this shit and being like, you're signed to pop. You're signed to pop. You're not actually a rapper. You're not You're not doing that anymore. You're, we're going to send you on the taco circuit. You're going to do your thing. And then we're going to take you and upstream you over to this other shit. Or and if you were black, we're going to take you here. We're going to take you on the chitlin circuit. And then we will upstream you to this. Bro, these are yeah. but this is a room full of white people telling me about my fucking culture and telling me what I can and can't do. And that shit is wild. To hear your shit and who don't. And, but, it's, and it's at that time I'm talking 2000 what 20 fucking 11. That's crazy. At that time nobody was on TikTok talking about this yeah. shit. It was just like we just you know shit. I had a baby. Well, I had to feed him, and I sat there and was like, okay, so what do you need me to do? They're like, um, well you know we just heard that actually uh. What's his name? The fucking guy that signed Kesha. What's his fucking name? Dr. Dr. Mark. Oh. We just found out that Dr. Luke actually signed. He got himself a Mexican girl. When I heard that sentence, I was like, "What? <laughs> That's insane." But also too, he like, got think himself about a Mexican girl. What does that, that sound like? Mean, like you're you're buying you're buying people now. We back on the auction block. Gotcha. <laughs> I was like, bet. It's like when Justin Bieber tried to make an R&B album and they still put it in a pop category because he's white. Yeah. And he he literally was like, "I made an R&B album." And they're like, shut up, cracker. <laughs> At the time when I was rapping, bro, I got signed after holy shit. You know holy shit. Play, like, holy shit. I'm rapping my fucking ass off. How did I get signed on pop? Why? Oh, because I wasn't They didn't black. know what to do with you. Yeah. So they didn't know what to do with me, so they signed me on pop. I wasn't signed as a rapper. I was signed by the same people that fucking signed every big pop art, like, artist in the fucking... I, literally, it was like Craig Kalman, Pete Gambard, fucking... Z Edelman, fucking uh, Julie Greenwald, like these are, Google it. These are big people in the music industry. They didn't. I didn't get signed to a minimal or whatever, but they were like, we didn't figure out what to do with you. Mm -hmm. What? And then I'm they're a rapper. Like the I'm way Mexican. That I'm a rapper. They mark, market pop people and then wonder why it doesn't work. And when rapper, when rap world, urban, like people that were living in like urban or, or radio promoting, tried to help me, they were like, you can't touch her because she's on pop. What the fuck? That's annoying. Know, I they know like, it's so yeah. annoying. What is that blacklisted? It's no, it's not. Annoying. They just trying to be annoying in the side of the office. Like it's not even about being blacklisted. It's just that like when people are assigned artists in certain departments, like they literally have the urban radio, they have the pop radio, they have the rock radio, they have teams that are specifically and then their egos involved. Exactly. It's, it's more like so about that. It's corporate politics. Yeah, it's the corporate politics. It's not even about like actually being blacklisted by an industry it's the people inside your own yeah. fucking infrastructure they're that are like you're weirdos. not gonna you're not gonna break her I'm yeah gonna break i'm gonna her. do it because i want to be the one that said that i i want to be the one that did it I so broke, to this day no. is yeah. it still like that or yes, has it changed very much. no it's very much yeah. still that's like why i told that. her yeah. when she was talking about being independent or doing this or doing that i'm like that some of the things that you say when you're like oh there hasn't been a chicana that has done this yeah that requires the powers that be in the music industry mm -hmm. and for that you got to play the game and mm -hmm. if you want to play the game you can't cool, yeah. and you got plenty of people here that can advise you on how to play the game and yeah. you could do it well but if you don't want to play the game then no <laughs> then don't play you the game and make millions. Yeah. you can make millions it's just gonna me. be harder but. but whether you're independent whether you're signed whether you're with label whether you're with whoever 
there's money to be made and somebody making that fucking money. Uh-huh. So it could either be you or it could be whoever's next to you or it could be the label or it could be whatever. But if what you want is visibility, it's going to cost them. Uh-huh. And if you, what you want is power, then it's going to cost them. Uh-huh. And if you want money, then it's going to cost them. Uh-huh. Everything costs a certain thing. Yeah. It might cost... You don't get that famous, but you make way more money than uh-huh. everybody else. B- being friends with people like Russ or, you know, Joiner or anybody like that. Motherfuckers is making way more money than people that are on. But uh-huh. what you I want? I mean, look, there's what so part many do you people. Want? You're basically that trading your sounds popularity. better, though. Like, because I, me personally, like, I never wanted, like, I ne- my, one of my goals is not I want to be famous. Like, you know, yeah. it wasn't that. Because I feel like that makes a lot of doing the actual art part of it like un- unenjoyable because like i hope you always keep that like, day always yeah. keep that. <laughs> because like it's just because i don't care like look i already got a little taste of people like trying to be my personal life trying to date these people think that they know more than i do about my own life mm-hmm. i don't I like that i don't like people wondering who i'm dating i don't like people wondering how who is my friend and i don't like people i don't like it it's not important like you don't follow me for that you follow me because you either fuck with my music or you don't and that's it it's that simple like you don't know me you know whether you hate me or love me you do not know me yeah. you could think that you know me you, you don't know me so like and i think i just got a taste of that from like the tiktok shit because tiktok is just all drama Absolutely. tiktok is like turning the into like is that. it's t- yeah. tiktok is like going it's turning into the most worst app i think ever and like it's just all drama now like it's and it's just it's just fucking sad in my opinion but i just think that i got a taste of that and it's not what everybody thinks it is and it's like to be considered popping is not really a popping type of feeling like it's just it's just annoying more than anything like it's just really annoying and i just don't like people all up in my business and take it with a grain of salt though because me and snow were talking about this last time i was here it's Uh like it really does go with the saying if you don't have haters you're not popping and snow is saying too it's like when you start to get a little bit of an influx of comments that you don't fuck with that means your your video is doing better than it usually does yeah, yeah. And i so, love my i love my circle <laughs> yeah I'm exactly my circle yeah. like that that means i'm gonna get uh-huh. 99 positive i'm good mm-hmm. i love my people i'm dropping my music for my people mm-hmm. yeah. the moment out of nowhere <laughs> motherfuckers start bobbing in i'm like yeah hey, yo when bees are rap dropping that shit hit 100 million in a fucking week that's like, yo, <laughs> motherfucker started shitting on me, and I'm like, oh, this. I'm, I'm doing my thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I, 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 I did not love it. I literally was like, I hid away from it. I never watched the video. I never yeah, looked yeah. at the comments. Oh. I was like, I don't want to see none of that shit. But did it financially benefit me? Of course. Absolutely. Course. And you got nominated I for a Grammy. It's polarity. nominated for a Latin Grammy. The, the things that it's like even on the fucking um you know with with that little VMA that I got that was a song that was you know for immigrants you know that that had some people having their fucking com- obviously a bunch of fucking people that hate immigrants came in and gee fucking all this shit I'm like okay but and I, I said this when Bad Baby first blow, blew up because she got signed to Atlantic while I was still there. Uh-huh. And I hit her up and I was like, hey, yo, honestly. Let me write some for as you. A, no, <laughs> no, no, no. As a 15-year-old, I literally wrote her and I was like, bro, she used to me do your shit. But I was like, no, I felt like people like her that could do that and could turn it into what they turned it into, you're strong it takes some emotionally. Thick ass skin, you for did sure. that. Yeah. Me, even if I did that, that, bitch, I wouldn't even be existing anymore. I'd be gone. The way yeah, my yeah. depression was set up when I was 15, I wouldn't have been able to handle yeah, she was a the baby. amount of hate. Mm-hmm. But so I like my shit. <laughs> let me write my music from my ranch. Let me shoot my videos. Let me do my podcast. Let me be at home. Let me be with my chickens and my dogs <laughs> and my things. This is where I'm happy. And this keeps me around for a long time. Cause at the end of the day, yes, cool, fame, blah, blah, mm-hmm. blah. But bitch, I'm trying to survive for as long as I can so I can see my son's wedding. Exactly. Like, I'm not... You know what, though? I feel like that type of stuff is only exciting to people who have, like, really big egos. Like, you really, like, need to have some type of void, like, in your soul. Like, be so empty, like, to, like, constantly need that fuel of, like, parties, getting lit, fame, everybody's all about yeah. me. Because, like, me personally, after, like, one show, like, I'm tired. I don't want to do yeah. a show for, like, weeks. Like, you know what I mean? Like, okay. and it's just, like, <laughs> and, like, or meet and greets, too. Like, they be, I love doing meet and greets, but they be getting draining sometimes, too. But, like, I stay to the last person. I do not let anybody go like without a signature or a picture or whatever because i'm not i'll never do that but um it like even little things like that drains me and even sometimes like there's times like i just want to go out with my friends and just kick it and be normal and shit but then people will recognize me um i remember one time one of me and one of my friends we got stopped at the mall and it looked like it turned into a meet and greet and i was like oh my god like and i was just trying to go to one store you know yeah. um so there's that's some you, times where you like just tell people that like when they're like <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, when I was younger, and what and accent I would, was that? Listen, listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was about to say something. I'm, I'm trying to be uh, kid friendly because I'm, I'm not saying you're a kid, but I feel like no, I have I to. Mean. But the way the mic is set up, you pulled it away from me, asshole. <laughs> but because um, you was, I know, funny. I know, because goddamn. But no, um, what I do when it gets awkward like that, when people start trying to be like, oh, can we, can we, can we? 
it, always to me it's funny when like parents like don't know what's going on they're like why do they want to take a picture I just say I do porn imagine though imagine you're like 16 years old and you're going up to ask someone for a photo and your parents are like why do they want to take a picture with you and you're like oh I do porn and then they look the mom looks at the kid like that's so fucking <laughs> but funny. I will <laughs> say like on the other side of that because people ask me all the time like when you have your meet and greets uh, we have a set amount of people that can do it and it's like well why can't she just see more like if she loves her pants why can't you do more like it is draining for you like it is yeah yeah. Not in a sense that like y'all don't like it or like it's oh, no, like, it's yeah. because it's like you have to think about it. It's just meeting one, one person. person. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's you like to give them. You're the all. source. That's yeah. a lot of energy. You're the source. And of people energy don't and understand just... that, like that it is like one person after like this happens, then you have to like reset every single yeah. time. Yeah, and yeah. then like I don't know how many people you meet, probably a lot, but like with her, like we set a hundred people. Yeah. It's like well, why I can't she do more? Do like we only have a certain amount of time. Like if we add fifty more people, that's like. A literally whole, you two get hours. 10 seconds it's like less. two hours yeah. 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 Also, and it all, it's also disrespectful to the people who bought their tickets and bought them early like buy them early you don't have to worry about it about being the 101th person yeah. no I but understand it's also like, like people but who can't also do like, it I heard meet yeah. and greets exactly. like she wants like to like talk yeah. to you and connect to you exactly. Exactly. so yeah. it's like if you want more people then it's gonna be like a lot of these other artists like, where it's like okay hi and bye picture hi and bye but she really that, wants like, to talk to you yeah, and connect yeah. to you yeah I hate doing that to my fans the hi and bye shit like I'm like if I got to meet my favorite artist I would not want to meet them like that like I genuinely try to have a conversation with them like sometimes I'll be like talking to them so long that the people in the back like you can see they're like all right like she does up, but it's because yeah. you know she like conversation that's why like, i don't let them see i close yeah. i close the door yeah, it's I just me and that <laughs> it's me and, and it's like yeah we have a person. time like we kind of are like okay like but like you still have that space of okay talk to her like tell like this and that she can talk to you she wants to see you, all of that but yeah. like i said well, in you our want case more on people. tour we only have like what an hour yeah an hour and a half we have, we have we have two hours but the thing is that it takes for fucking ever because sometimes people I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys have ever dealt with this, but sometimes people want to take longer walking up to you than they actually want to take spending time with you. Facts. Bro, like, come on. I'd be like, the, clo- the, the, the more you hurry up, the more we're going to hang they out with you. Walk, they be walking up like this. That's where yeah. like cameras ready. <laughs> it's, like four times. it's like that whole time you was waiting in line. They're smelling, now, they're like, smelling their breath. <laughs> you know what? Can, can, you, can you get her some water? Please? Nobody heard that? All right, no, good. I heard you. Right. <laughs> they do a mess because they're smelling their breath before they come up. No, they do a little <laughs> shocking thing and everything. And yeah, it's like, it's fucking, it's it's fucking dope. And look, I'm just for, me, shit. for me, for example, for what was it? Eight years? I did free meet and greets. Free meet and greets. At every show. Um, eight oh, years? you're such a charitable, Bro, wonderful I artist. No, I did. But that's why now... I'm like, yeah. Like, Run me I my charge. card. <laughs> I'm like, no, because I'm like, bro, for eight years, you could have showed up to any show. And I was meeting, you know, what about the times we was meeting? Like 300 fucking people, 400 people outside of fucking Denver. The no way. The venue, Stop, Snow. Bro, 300? the venue would fucking kick us out and I would have to go outside to meet the rest of people because I Stop. said, I'm a very word of, like, my Now they charge mom. us for it sometimes. And then there'll be times where they charge us. Even now, they'd be like, oh, well, if you want security to stay over, then it's going to cost you this much. I'm like, bro, I'm losing half my fucking money on meet and greet. Well, that's amazing that you did that, though, Snow, for real, for real. I'm not, like, not even be funny. I did, but the reason, the only reason that I started finally, like, being like, all right, fuck that is because I remember I would see people that were going to meeting like some Chicano men rappers. They're like, he's so humble. I'm like, he just charged you $250 to meet him. Bro, I bet you're Chris Brown. I've been thinking about that all the I'd time. Like, I'd be like, I just met you for free and not a one post. But you meet this motherfucker for $250 and he's the most humble person you met. Fuck you. Suck my dick. The way you suck his. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. At some point, it just becomes like, oh, sorry. My bad. I'm sure your dad's like, I feel you. Like, but, no, only because because your dad seen me struggle he literally on our live was like i seen yeah. you go through it and i think a lot of times we were talking about what this in that? the chicano oh. culture or mexican-american water? culture there is times when thank you yeah it's water um there's times when i think women are expected to just be nice mm-hmm. shut up be sweet i don't hate do that. this don't do that yeah. but then men are allowed to do whatever the fuck they want and like he's a boss <laughs> he's oh dope. he's just busy he's, oh, I fuck with him. there's times when some of these pages be posting their like list of like the most listened to and i'll be like literally i'll look and i'll be like i'm glad they don't post you i told you yeah, I, I, yeah. there's people i told them don't post me mm-hmm. but i'll be looking at the list and i'll be like okay <laughs> the math ain't math you, you're, omitting, like, you're omitting some statistics 700 monthly listeners compared to my 3 million monthly listeners but they're the top 
artist. Okay. Vibes. Feel you. I'm not gonna comment. I'm not gonna nothing. I'm not gonna be petty. But I also try to gauge because, like I told you, sometimes it's just for my own mental health of like being like, okay, bet. So the internet really is this like world of its own yep. that like has nothing to do with actual fucking reality. I was gonna say like that. Um, how you were saying like how uh, guys could basically do whatever they want when it's a girl. It's like totally different story. You're I feel like bitch. it's because it's just so cringe. Like I'm gonna be honest. Like most guys make me cringe because like they're so ego driven. Like and I think that women we don't really have that as much as guys do. And like they're impressed by the most dumbest shit. Like oh you have hoes in your videos or oh your car or oh, like and it's like most of the time they're just renting it or it's just like for yeah. looks. It's not it's not anything to actually value about a person. It's nothing deep about it. You know. Yeah. And I feel like that's what and then the, ma- the industry is mostly guys and it's just uh, guys like all like you know like oh, the circle jerk yeah literally it's, that's what all the industry is it's just guys doing that to each other and yeah. that's why like they'll always respect each other more than a woman yeah. artist because it's like there's well, no way a girl could be better than me or whatever like that and they don't actually yeah. respect real hard work they just respect someone that looks like a boss that looks like they got it like that yeah. they're oh because they have holes or they flex money or their chains like to me it's like that doesn't mean shit it's like mm-hmm. what's your and, character like you feel me yeah. like why it is as kept from MC Hammer to today, a lot of these niggas is broke as literally yeah. standing in the street. Literally. Okay, <laughs> like <laughs> quiet as that step, please something. understand optics <laughs> of things and what's really underneath the surface yeah. is yeah. not always yeah. matching up with one another. It's it not never matches up. It doesn't. Um, and it is but a I think it's jerk. really good that at your age you're able to see that. Well, well yeah, it's because like, so at your age I was fooled. No, yeah, but it's, it's because it's so easy. Like I feel like I could see right through them because I'm surrounded by so much good men in my life, real men, not just not just because they're men, the but fake. they're good, real men mm-hmm. that they teach me what a real man should be like and what that's what dope. traits to look out for and stuff like that that I could easily recognize it. That's why, like, like I'm not gonna lie, like um, I feel like a lot of guys are bitches, like, and no offense <laughs> to them, but like I just feel like that that's true, and it's like I feel like sometimes more of a man than guys, not because of how I dress or how I talk, it's because of like my core, and it's like how are you not more manly? Like how do you not have like the want to like just be a good person and make sure like you're just like grounded in these aspects yeah, of your life. Yeah. Like, to me that's what makes a good man like character you know yeah someone it's who's character. honest and who's, who cares for people and is like want, always wants to do the right thing like those types of things people don't value they value yeah. because this has a chain or they like what like what even is that and you're right most of the guys that do have that image are broke and it's just like it's so cringe to me because like i said it's just a big circle jerk that's what the music industry is and that's why when it's like a girl artist they all of a sudden like they don't know who you are or they won't like pay respects to like your your talent and shit like how that dare you be better than them literally well, just, i mean i just think in general though like men and just society we we put men on pedestals like we we men and I'm women gonna... men and women not i'm not saying Good time for me to go pee men and women <laughs> Fuck um, these dudes. No. men and women <laughs> seek male validation it's like the same way that like me- like men can be groupies in the club with their homeboy that yep. plays in the league and they want to be in the club and they want to <laughs> get the bottles and shit like that but also too i think that like um i was just watching a video on tiktok that was talking about how testosterone makes men perform for validation <laughs> and so it's like whatever the social norm is uh, amongst the conditioning that we've had men tend to like the testosterone makes them want to perform for that so like mm-hmm. in in our society we reward aggression we are we reward physical violence we reward we reward dominance in, in that type of way so a lot of men in order to maintain their status in whatever position that they're in they will be violent because they know that that a rewards that style. gives them that gives them status yeah. like if i'm a tough guy and i can beat your ass then you're not going to say shit to me and so it's like we put that type of shit even women do like whether it be we're like i want to be with him because he makes me feel comfortable it makes me feel safe makes me feel mm-hmm. secure we're still valuing violence over and i'm not saying that's wrong because obviously like we want to be with someone that can protect us but we do value even women we value physical physicality over yeah. emotional uh maturity yeah. no I what you it, said is definitely also, fact sorry yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no go ahead Oh, I was going to say, definitely it's true, like, because uh, a lot of women, like, they egg it on, too. Like, the behaviors that they don't like, they're the ones who be egging it on. So, it's also, like, I, d- I try to be objective with a lot of my opinions. So, like, I'm yeah. not even trying to blame either side here. I yeah, just think I'm that it, becomes, it comes from men because they have big egos and they do well, they create male validation. It. They created the entire then, system, so. Literally, I mean, and then and then women, too, though, it's, like, sometimes, like, I'm not going to cap, like, yeah, y'all, not y'all. We but, just like, abuse y'all it. Y'all sometimes, like, be kind of dumb. Like, just don't be dumb. Like, and you'll see, it's, it's so easy, you it know is, what I mean? Like, it seems easier. It's so easy easy to like and, and it's hard because like we sometimes yeah you too you do tend to get into your emotions but sometimes you have to think 
kind of logically because but that's men, how you avoid like yeah. men are emotional you know? as hell too though yeah. they like, are you know, they it's, are. Just it's, it's just that like men are emotional because of testosterone and we're yeah, emotional and because more, of estrogen, estrogen. But and it, and it's statistically <laughs> men are more irrational than women because they commit the most violent crimes the most that's rape facts. the most yeah. the, the most, most dangerous abuse ever <laughs> sorry to my men sorry guys we love men I love my man I love my man no but what I was gonna say was <laughs> that it really is like the age old question of nature virtu- exactly. versus nurture. Exactly. Exactly. Because it's like you can blame it on testosterone, but then also you have to look like it's conditioning. It, it's both. Like it has yeah, to exactly. be both. Yeah, exactly. It has to be both. You know? It has to be both. And it's one of those things like what Jay was saying, where yeah. it's like you, we can want men to stop acting as aggressively. But they're getting rewarded for say, it. But as long, yeah, as long as we as a society. There's no way I'm not pretty like like How many you women to will honestly say, I want my man to be a protector? Yeah. I want to ask him a question. Yeah. So I was saying, okay, <laughs> the Bro. one man tell us something oh yeah that's true yeah how do you feel about <laughs> everything we're saying i've been saying <laughs> it's all of us against he's you. like y'all all of us against you know very no. rational though i mean it's Ito's men, the best man ever. A, men yeah. know how shitty other men are when they Facts. find out they're having a daughter they get scared because they know that men are poop exactly. so they're they're afraid of yeah. the fact that they know their daughter's gonna have to be raised in an environment where creepy men and perverted because it's like at the end of the day like statistically men are typically more perverted than they are actually not perverted so i mean it's just the way they're conditioned like we continue to like perpetuate the idea that like boys will be boys but we don't check it we don't think it's getting i know like that's one of the number one like the like things that like we did wrong by saying stuff like that like boys will be boys like that's the most stupidest shit i've ever heard about yeah it just like it's like because me personally i just feel like a lot of the way why men are the way they are too is because of how they get raised like you know the dad like oh yeah son be a player like that's cool uh-huh. you're getting bitches the so moms, your royal the, oats. even the moms <laughs> egging it on too and they're little like oh yeah my son's gonna be a little player when like why yeah. why why would you why ever say that about your daughter that? like that's Which like is- saying your daughter's gonna be a stripper like what the fuck like and they don't see it as wrong because it's like that's how boys are that's and but it's like why are you allowing it it's like yeah. and, and you compare like a guy who was raised by like really say just really good parents that are like aware of that and then a guy who isn't you could see that it is possible they just choose not to exactly. because boys will be boys like what yeah. is that mentality and then yeah. there was the same women or people that complain about oh but it's like you literally made them wait tell me have way. you guys been wait, seeing the clip like, is that men don't get their flowers till they die and the oh shut up shut up, up. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> nobody cares shut up like, Shut bro, up! Because like, men get their flowers. We'll find out. No, no, we are <laughs> no, we no, so we we giving nothing but pride. I am giving. Jay is literally being. That's what I'm saying. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying. Flowers, it's annoying. Right. It's annoying. Men yeah. I have given my like my ex it's flowers it. oh because I'm like, if I want flowers, I'll give you flowers. But it's like it's not for like a. Yeah, but like that's what I'm saying. Men are. Okay, the fact that men are saying that oh they don't get their flowers to their dead just shows how emotional men yeah. are. It's the way They're that very like, emotional. the way that it's men cannot an... get cheated on and accept their woman back the way that women do all the fucking time mm-hmm. only yeah. proves how emotional they truly are. Yeah. 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 Man cheats, he's like I was just a man, but when a I woman cheats, you a fucking woman. Like, 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 like what the fuck are you talking about? You fucking You don't do have a comment on this. Because he's laughing over there. <laughs> and they're gonna and they're gonna say this. No, 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 no. This is this is no, what this we is know what, it's not you. Listen though, this is what men you. say. Yo, the volume overall, they say that the women. They say that women cheat. Werewolf. When women this cheat, it's more <laughs> emotional. <laughs> That's why they argue that because we they try to say level. that it's more emotional. But actually, <laughs> it's just a projection because men try to make it seem like when they cheat that it's not emotional. They're but very actually, emotional. when men cheat, a lot of the times when you get down to the root of why they decided to do it, it's because they didn't feel enough. You don't do this. You're too busy for me. You always. Doing that. It's always emotional. It's, like, it's always emotional. And then they look at it as a weakness. That. that was crazy, right? That's not <laughs> emotional on her behalf. I didn't that's even hear her. Been through it. That's why. It's not, I've been us. through it. I've seen it. Exactly. I oh, have a yeah, very close family shit. friend. Who, 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 is that that is that no, <laughs> who told you that shit? <laughs> Ace oh, you that that no, there is there is an Oprah <laughs> episode. There is, there's an Oprah episode where she in- interviews five men who've cheated on their <laughs> wives, and they all have an emotional reason for why they cheated on their wives. And so, <laughs> bitch, I we didn't have a joke. You. I was like, tell us something. We hear you. No, no. Literally, go watch Oprah and watch them if you're listening to this on spotify we're, we apologize i know I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry oh, you heard that, that too who, who heard that who did that was you did that that was you 
<laughs> Saturday. Man, we didn't even have a private podcast. Who what? did that? She's my kind of people. Yeah, we might have a day yeah. ones with just Tony and 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 uh, fucking uh, Jamie, Jamie going back yeah. and forth. Don't since do that. Jamie, since Tony defended Jamie early in the book, look, is that your bicep? What is happening? <laughs> oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Even Ito. You know. I feel like Ito is not me, like the a. The fact you made fun of. Look, what did I do? You the just, last time. Damn, you made son. fun of me? No, I did not make fun of you. We're not talking about this in, yeah. front, of, of, uh, in front of Jay, okay? <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> we can talk about yeah. it later. We'll talk about it on a I private podcast. I make fun of you, my queen. We're going to talk about, my we gonna talk about it. Babe. No, I did not make fun of you. <laughs> and it's embarrassing. I don't want to say it in yeah, front of Yeah, don't say it right so now. Because we can talk about it again later. But I don't want to talk about it. They said R.I.P. users. My brother will leave this shit recording and we can talk about it, but my brother need to go away. <laughs> no, we don't need to record this because I wasn't I wasn't trying to come for you at all. I feel like like when we do talk about guys, like I I don't think Ito ever gets offended because we all know Ito is not that. He's not a yeah. If the yeah. shoe don't fit, then it don't fit. Yeah, Ito's like I'm a size twelve. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. He's very logical. Exactly. exactly. Poop on a stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, they don't like it. It's because they're used to it. Yeah, yeah. that's facts. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding, Evo. But Ito's a one percent. No, I'm literally making a project that's gonna be full of love songs. It's called "Men Ain't Shit Except Mine." <laughs> for the delusional bitches. No, for me. <laughs> for my personal we experience. We love that for the delusional bitches. <laughs> just mine. Just mine. Mine's, mine is on. Chef's kiss, but the rest of this Look trash. Look at Poncho. That Poncho we're like, I, I'm, he's the so shoe don't cute. Fit. Look, Poncho, the shoe does the shoe fit on Poncho because what? Yeah, he's a Poncho's king. Poncho's toxic as hell, bro. He's a king. Toxic. Poncho is king. so toxic, bro. He's, he's a king. So gonna be toxic. up in bed with the neck bitch tonight. <laughs> First of all, no, because he's, he's been very bed. connected to Brinks lately. So, yeah. and no. while Cheese was not Brinks, up, yes, is a little on the spectrum of being. They got a little gayness going yeah, on. Yeah, I, I didn't want to say it. It wasn't like, my place look, to say. Yeah. Nothing wrong with being bisexual. Just we're mm. very. It's a very I loving ranch. Stay away from me. No, love is love on this. Ranch. I'm just Sorry. saying, like it's Sorry. not poncho Mind and you, wait, Let me clarify that before people think I'm biphobic. <sighs> I love bi. I just right now I'm drunk, so I can't decipher. So, <laughs> so I'm like, no, what version of me do you want me to be right now? And I can't figure it out. So look, I, I would like everybody to stay away from me right now. Just Actually, just as a general alert. Your- I would like everyone to know. No. Stay away from me right now. Okay. I think I should stick I'll take here. the bye men. Do you? If you're feeling rejected. Jay, is you? there more? Do you hang out with a lot of gay people? I do. Jay. She don't know gay people. Thank She's you. 20. You don't. You don't. What? I had no. a lot you of gay friends when I was younger. LGBT. No, she is literally LGBT born in 2004. Uh, I feel like a lot of the uh, younger generation. Do you have friends that do you uh, hang out some with? Some of them ain't gay. Some of them ain't out yet, bitch. 2005. 2005. The way gay works. 2002. Wait, okay, yeah. What was your answer? You I mean, I have some gay friends, and like, I just feel like, yeah, I have, I have gay friends. Are they more? By the Girls way, that was a gay guys. joke. That guys. was like, for my community, guys, we think it's funny. Yeah. And you're not gay. No, because I feel like every time that I say a gay, like something that like relates to gay they people, come for you. the straight people are like, oh my God, like bitch, look, until you fucking, if you're a girl and you, you know what, her dad's watching, but until you have done some gay shit, don't get a I literally like to community. say, if you, so you know too. experienced it, don't say shit. Yeah. Right. The amount of respect like, no, like, we have for your dad, <laughs> nobody, we don't do Anna? this. Was it, it was a woman. Freddy, we, <laughs> call it Freddie Rock 87. Freddie Rock 87. Hey, Freddy Rock. Freddy. Oh, that was crazy. No, that was wild. crazy. Yeah. That was that's wild. wild. <laughs> we don't I, try to sugarcoat shit for nobody. Okay, Freddie Negretti. Like, that's Freddy the only person that does Let's have him on the podcast. I only know two Freddies. Five Nights at Freddy's. Freddie Freddy, Freddy. Oh, Freddie. Freddie Cougar. Freddie Poncho's best Freddy friend. Freddie Cougar? Jason's Why? Jason's brother, Freddie. That's the only Freddie I know when, I know when I'm thinking about that's my Freddies. Okay. <laughs> How many Freddies Freddy do you know? None. Freddie J. Rock. <laughs> only Freddie Krueger. Yeah, that's a perfect. Now Let's have him on the podcast. My dad talks a lot. He would be a good person to have on the podcast. Do he be smoking no, or he's sober? Is he no, looking to he drinks be a sometimes. manager sometimes. to the other children? What happened? Does he like talk about? Why do you say? Wait, you, you guys just asked me like three questions. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I know. Wait, listen to Snow's question. Okay, wait. I was saying that I want my daughter to have a manager because she wants to model. That's what I was saying. Is he looking for your dad? Is he a Raider fan? 
no my dad is not looking to okay i'll answer both questions my dad's not looking to manage he just got kind of thrown into it because like i'm his favorite like, kid, he's obviously. Obviously. Yeah. like he had no like, choice right. he had no choice he's I'll not gonna throw too. me to the Wait, Jay, like, how many siblings my dad have. just had a daughter and he's like oh she's gonna she, you have three, three siblings, siblings? Yeah. because she's gonna be a star like you I'm are like, you no, the, the baby or not. the youngest the oldest and you keep saying you're the favorite i'm dummy the favorite but i'm my dad's favorite I'm my dad's favorite. <laughs> and no, my said, dad's not a Raiders fan. He's he a Cowboys this, fan. Has he said this Fuck verbatim? That shit. You know what? Huh? Cut the mic off. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're, what? you're uninvited. Has no, he said this verbatim or this is just what you proclaim? It's what I know. And everybody can see it. <laughs> and he, could, he could deny yeah, it, but he knows so it. So your other yeah. sisters say that too? My, like, even my sister that. told me that. My sister's like, I could tell. But she doesn't get offended because my sister... Like, How old's I'm, your sister? She's 18. What's um, her name? Brie, you asked me earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, first of all, one thing I'm going to teach you about life is when I'm drunk, don't fucking question me. No, I'm like, <laughs> no. Listen, I do think it's funny Stop. because... That's funny as shit. What? You're funny as fuck, no. Am I? Claudia. <laughs> Oh, sorry, <laughs> no, sorry, funny. my queen. No, she's like, I don't think I've ever called you that in our 15 year friendship. I you always call the only time I call you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what were you saying? I was, I, what what I was I gonna say about you, okay, is something that I think even on um, social media when you were going through your little thing or whatever, uh -huh. which is gonna be far behind us, is that Russ and you. Did you, did you cut well, my mic? It oh, sounded crazy. a little... He's like, I don't want to hear this. They're talking, though, like, okay, so not sorry, my mic. Right. <laughs> okay, so have the same confidence, uh -huh. but it's taken completely different from a man than it would be from you. When you're like, I'm going to be this, I'm going to do this, I'm my dad's favorite, I'm this... <laughs> Instead of that being taken as like, hey, yo, good for you. Like, that's great confidence. It sometimes gets taken by some people like, who does she think she is? I don't know who yeah. she is, blah, blah, blah. And yeah. it's like, why not? Why wouldn't you be proud? Me? That don't trigger me. It makes me be like, that's lit. Like, fuck yeah. Like, take that shit further than, because part of what held me back, I think, was my insecurity. But like, for me to be like, talking to somebody mm -hmm. who is younger than me, but me be like, you don't have stage fright? That's fucking dope. Yeah, like I love that. that means you could take this shit to levels that I couldn't take it. Cause bitch, what? I need I'm my scared. tequila shot before I get on stage. Like mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get on stage. I've Fair done it a couple times, yeah. and literally I'm staring at somebody's bald head, somebody's <laughs> wife that fucking won't shut up, somebody's <laughs> child. Like I'm about to pop my champagne bottle, and there's literally a kid the like this. Times I'm I've like, been no, at stage, I, I like my legs are literally shaking. That's why I walk I off so quick, and like I try to hide behind the dancers or like AJ or Mario, because like literally like my whole body is like convulsing, and yeah. I'm like, give me. She was like, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm like, that's inspiring to, yeah. to, to hear like a yeah. like a next generation of artists be like, I don't have stage fright, and I'm confident as fuck. That's dope. Is this yep. bitch ordering an Uber right now? <laughs> and also, like, not what? as a as a artist, but as a parent, I want both of my kids to love not me so thing. much that they both are fighting over who's their favorite. I want both of them to think I'm their favorite. I okay. want them to know that I'm I've always showed up so for them in every fucking way to the point where they're like, my mom will fucking ride for me i know i'm her favorite because she's never let me down and that's do like your, lovely that's my and mom beautiful. do that's your sisters work my mom. Okay. Yeah. that's With the only thing day. that i'm gonna give you is that my mom definitely mm -hmm. like my brother is my mom's favorite <laughs> for sure yeah for typical, sure typical though you know, definitely yeah that's typical favorite. that's my mom too Typical. Do your sisters work or like what do they do? Okay, I only have, I only have one sister. Ethnic family. Oh. Stop, I only have no. one sister and then two brothers. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I heard so that. it's just me and my sister and then my two little brothers. And they're they're not old enough to work yet, right? Or like what does your sister do? My sister, she's an artist. Like she's a literal artist. Like she paints, draws, she wants Ooh. to be a tattoo artist and she's super oh, do, both you, do, do your parents me? do your parents? Are your so parents like I need a tattoo <laughs> artist? <laughs> huh? Are your parents artistic in any way? Um, not really. Like what about grandparents? Um, not really. Where do y'all get it from? I don't. You, I don't, you know, what my mom tells me like genetic. not to be weird. Well, I don't, my mom always tells me that she says that we were literally made with love. Oh, <laughs> that's like, that's I, I just, my. But that's she what said, my daddy more. He should be a Raider fan. Uh, yeah, sorry. Like, no, nah, because she always tells me that she said that she feels like sometimes couples like or people that have had kids, it's like oh, oh, it's like from a one night stand or like a guy that didn't really love the girl or vice versa or like people that weren't meant to be together, whatever it is. And my mom said that she genuinely feels that her and my dad like. We're meant to be together, and that they, 
It sounds nasty. No, that's what she always tells me. She's, like, no, you guys, she's like, you guys were made literally with real like love and passion. She's like, and that's okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm not alone. Yeah, that's what she tells me. I'm with you. I love that. I love that so because, much. Because, because like, no, but on some real show, okay, because like. I'd rather hear her make a dick joke than the passion. That was because crazy. Because that's what my mom tells me how to think I feel, but no, because I'm like, I'm a singer. My sister's like an artist, artist. And then my brother, he does sports, but like my brother is like all always like top three he's in so many travel That's teams up. he's he's only 14 um and then my you, baby, baby 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 brother he's like a fucking genius like he you he's could like, have an adult conversation with him I don't, are they still he's together? scary Do you who yes. your parents oh yeah of course no i That's really feel like i need to talk to your parents now because i was telling it's snow like this to too um, <laughs> bitch, this parents. bitch ordered mcdonald's what? It was the the first? <laughs> that's the first person ever on this podcast to Thank order you. mcdonald's show the order bitch it was the fastest thing to come She's faster than me. I'm faster than you. Don't tell you the truth. I just no, said, I just, sorry, cover your ears. Wait, wait, wait. Dad, cover your ears. I already What's said that. Freddy. 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 Cover your ears. That's it. I'm making a joke. Yeah. However, sorry, Daddy. I'm sorry. What is that? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm dead. Edo's not okay. Edo's <sighs> back with the sounds because usually the sounds do have the work for us. Yeah, we didn't have a lot of sounds. <laughs> He's all, let me in, let me in, let me in. <laughs> I'm dead. Right, Chisel? Chisel said that was fast as fuck. They so said, are your parents a, like... Damn, bitch, it was National Hamburger Day tomorrow, yesterday, yesterday. and I ain't even get a burger day, <laughs> bitch. Hey, well, we got Taco Bell, to be fair. She said you want one. Fuck that. I wanted a burger. I got two You could have had a burger. <laughs> if you want a burger, okay. eat a burger. If you want a Wait, fish so fry, Jay, eat a fish fry. You guys know that he's Conservative? in jail? Um, you guys know that that kid's in jail? Bitch, <laughs> what? she just asked <laughs> a question. What? Sorry. Sorry. Um, my parents are very conservative. I would say like my mom is like a little bit more than my dad. My dad's kind of more like free spirited. I feel like, but he still like very grounds me in like morals. He's protected. And, like, Your mom like cooks super, super. and shit. Yeah. And, you, and y'all go to church or no? Nah, we don't go to church. Not oh. anymore. But but y'all were like, what were you raised? Um. I was raised Catholic, um, but to be honest, I just feel like where I stand now is like, I just believe like that I should just be a good person and it's not that deep. And I, and I don't Period. care what other people believe in because like it doesn't affect my Period. life, but I just believe that I need to be a good person to my core no matter what someone at church yeah. is telling me or someone my, yeah. that's my friends telling me. I just sure. think that's that with my own self, right I need now. to know that and yeah. no one else could validate that but myself. Jay, so, when's like, your birthday? Absolutely. Uh, October, October 4th. Oh, you said that you're a Libra. Yeah. Her and my nephew have the same birthday. That's dope. I didn't even know Libra was in the October. I thought just everybody in October and was a September. Scorpio. <laughs> right? Like I October. just assumed it was like, no, and it's like October. October. No, that's the majority the end. Of, sep- of October. That's the end. Is, uh, right? Libra. Yeah. No, no, not right now. Yes, yeah, so no, it's just at the end. Wait a second. People who were born at the I just end. Like giving, I just like giving Tony shit because it's funny. But Why didn't you do that? Why didn't you eat it? Oh, no, I could, no, I could eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. That's for the day ones. Yummy, yummy, yummy. It's going to be Make a bummy, eat it. That's fine. I like I'll be alright. <laughs> I don't want a strong train. Snow. Um. What? I got it, it for you. I will. Now it's rude to not eat it. <laughs> yeah, that's against my culture. <laughs> what the fuck is your culture? That's against my beliefs. <laughs> against my I culture. I thought that we had freedom of religion. It's against my culture. I remember last time that that Tony was here, everybody just loved her freaking curl pattern. We're just <laughs> gaslighting. I know I love her curl. What do you put in your curl? You know your what's hair? more curly? <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> look. My, 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 stop. I'm kidding. I'm not going to say it because Jay is if here. If you keep breathing that hard, you're about to breathe a piece of that cheeseburger in your fucking nose, bitch. Look. <laughs> <laughs> that esophagus bone. Esophagus. Tony, <laughs> you are getting us demonetized. <laughs> like, that's your goal. I was like, I'm going to come here and get this video And, and Jay, monitor. look. Okay. The, way, the reason I'm going to focus Jay, wait. When you keep saying that. We're going to be Jay-centric because we're going to still stick around with Tony. When you say that it's demonetized, you're triggering the word. That's like yeah. when someone says that, true, right? that they're... Okay, I don't even know, to be honest. Really? She's like, I never go you're down that path. You, you, you made up the internet. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bad omen. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, tell us. <laughs> tell her she's wrong. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> First of all, bitch. You should have ordered... No. However many people here is, or, is cheeseburgers. I should have ordered tacos, to be honest. Not me, though, because I don't eat meat. I'm sorry. Because well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You don't eat meat? No. I, I was being oh considerate at everyone's vegetarian I'm going to pineapples in the fucking li- in, the, in my house. Wait, what? No. Of, no, I'm saying fruit. Like, oh. Don't <laughs> offer her a pineapple. 
Oh, hey, what? pineapples are gas. Pine- yeah, they're fucking bomb. What do you mean? I drink pineapple juice like Me as many too, morning but in the that's morning. That's a weird thing to offer someone. I feel like pineapple. You need to offer someone like right? tofu. Yes, it is. Say that I feel like tofu is, is, is If you offer someone pineapple juice unprovoked, you're saying that they're coochie snakes. No, is that what? true? <laughs> I would never think Bitch, that. Bitch, why don't you eat a second life. fucking cheeseburger? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> She stood up and everything. This is for such that. a funny podcast. It's Tell me that I'm strange. I'm trying to. Yeah. It's, a, it's like it's like it's like the two halves Both of dy- me, right? Dynamic. It's like demon time. Yeah, and like, and like I'm trying to be. Tell me that is nice. And I'm trying to angel. And Tell me that isn't funny shoulder. though, because everybody says that <laughs> pineapple juice <laughs> makes you pushing. She, you're just pushing over a cheeseburger. She <laughs> She's like half she the like part. She like just did that. She's like, you know what? No, let me tell you something. I'm like, no. First of all, she's like drinking pineapple juice is like <laughs> As the pineapple juice is close to you, bitch. You the what you gonna tell? Look, the pineapple. So what are you juice trying to say? No, <laughs> I didn't say you nothing. You said it. You said just it. Suggesting Girl, it. that's you. Yeah. I ain't saying nothing. We sitting here. Uh, she likes fruit, and the have... only fruit in my fridge right now, and we can fucking film it. Sorry. Is I have a tray <laughs> of pineapple. You're, like that has oh. nothing to do with anything well, else. Well, there's actually suggested. bananas. No, like they're pine- not in my no, fridge. A tray of pineapple in the and I hate bananas. If you know me, if you actually fucking knew me. Speaking I, of bananas, I, I, I don't. hate bananas. That story <laughs> earlier. Well, I hate bananas. I hate how slimy and weird okay. they sound. They be people be like eating them. I've had somebody talk to me before while chewing on a banana. I'm like, they do this sound is annoying. Disgusting. They like, do shut sound. Up. They do sound annoying. It's I like heard a, a dog story. licking his balls. Like I don't want to listen to this. It sounds like eating a banana. That is. Like, Poncho is be on my pillow sometimes while licking his fucking ass. I'm like, get out of my room right I now. I heard a story this morning that made me not want to eat a banana for a long time. What's, oh, about me deep throating it? It was literally on her story. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? All right. How long has this It was on her been? story. It's time hours. to go. Okay. The, the time is done. Love you guys. we love Post J-Rocks it. and we don't want her to ever go home and be She's scared of us. To She's back. never coming back. Her parents are literally She's like, like, I am not coming back. Her parents are going to be like, Snow the product and her friends are Stay canceled. away from her. So long. <laughs> wait, before we I'm trying to get you wait. to my friends. So long. Can I say a goodbye? Until we meet again. And about I said, everybody, got af- everybody got everybody got bison. Okay, go. To you, my friend. Can we cut her mic? <laughs> Can we please promote the show? We have three more shows in Salt Lake, Boise, and LA. Please promote. Even if you're not going, promote the show. Thank you. Tag it. If it's a if you're not going at all, just post whatever picture you have of snow. Say Thank we have you. three more shows. The King say we never had to wear. Period. You don't have to be going to promote it. We will see it. We will like it. We acknowledge it. We Thank love you. it. Thank you so much. It is the Please. And yet I never had. Thank <laughs> you so fucking much. I would like to at least leave up. The, I'm glad that Tony went to the restroom real quick. We're going to have a conversation with you. Okay. One. Thank you so much for coming on the podcast, too. Thank you. I'm sorry that is a clusterfuck, but on your second trip, one, you could be late. Uh-huh. Two, maybe bring your parents. You that way we, you show. know, bring mm-hmm. your pa- Maybe we should interview your parents as well. Maybe yeah, you, you know, should, you know, honestly. That would be fucking dope. No, yeah, that's what I was saying. Parents. Because she was saying that neither of her parents are artistic. I'm not artistic at all, but my kids really are. So I'm like, I need some advice because it's so hard being very analytical and having artistic children. I think we children. need advice. Yeah, from yeah you would definitely get along with my together. mom then. Because, like, cause like, my dad is like always, like, loved the music and like he lo- loves that so i feel like in a way like my career is like s- slightly enjoyable in that aspect because he like loves he put me on to everything that i like now like to this day it's because my dad um music wise but my mom is like definitely more like you know just like typical mom vibes and just like Love trying that. to learn how to like Aww. handle how different her kids are you know but that's what I mean? beautiful yeah that is beautiful for me who is someone one i have a kid he's mm-hmm. creative i am creative I've been, you know, not to trauma dump on you, but look, I've been single for a while and I'm looking for a, f- a particular person and I've been thinking maybe that's what I need. Like, you know, support someone who knows how to just, you know, support. Love. That's beautiful of your mom to just be like, yo, my kids Hello. are talented. My husband's talented. Like everybody's talented. I love to just be here, be the mom. Yo, can you shut You was literally just mouth. begging Hello. for her food. Stop it. How long you know, have your parents beautiful. been together? They've been together since they were What's 13 and 15. 13. Uh, See, we need advice. Name? Uh, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. We're inviting you to the podcast because <laughs> we, we need advice. Know. You sound like a Lucy's literally woman. our age. We need a relationship. Right? We, you sound like a she's strong 42. woman. We love Whoa, that shit. Oh my gosh, she's older a one. Per, we love that shit. Big That's per, beautiful. Being a mom. That's she's 42, beautiful. but she looks like 27. Yeah. You know, I think 42 is my favorite number. <laughs> your mom Nobody knows. Meant to be. 42 is my favorite number. Yeah. Stop. My sister is the same age as your mom. Yeah, my mom's 42, and then my dad is. 40. 
I, I love that. I love that. I love that. But look, I at the end I of the did. day, the reason I invited these two beautiful, wonderful women is because it They're is talented. very important to know that in this industry, a lot of times people, you know, like to just think like, you know, maybe, oh, you're only popular on TikTok. You're only popular here. You're only popular on social media, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, bro, this is a whole fucking spectrum of fucking life. Anybody who can captivate an audience, whether, you know, back, you know, in Vine or TikTok or Twitter or YouTube or MySpace or anything or, you know, stage anywhere. Anyone who can do that has a certain level of power. We're not saying we're the biggest fucking power in the world. We but what we are is we have a certain level of power. And the fact that there is wonderful, independent, beautiful women that are willing to use that power for positive, for positive, for love, for good influence, yep. for showing you how we, you know, navigate the world while independent. being full, you know, we have a good personal life and we also want to navigate with our professional life and we have a family and we people just want to be good people i think um that is forever going to be a fucking beautiful wonderful story that's better than any disney princess story ever because it's going to be forever inspiring so i wanted to you know show you guys yeah. i know you guys didn't know each other and i know she's yeah, a little and loud and crazy and she's opposite. a little more private but look so but we all are a spectrum of the same thing which is just women trying to find our people and being like yo like you know fuck with us don't whatever but if you do other, fuck yeah. with us we love you like and it. also too what i want to say about jay that i just you know i didn't know her before this um like speaking to her or hearing her speak and i really respect her mindset at such a young yeah, age because he's the same she's age so as my head. nephew and my nephew is pretty mature as well um but yeah, I, I think that Jay has a very um, good head on her shoulders. Shout out to her parents, obviously. And then really also, too, girl. nature versus nurture. Woman. She clearly just has the capacity to understand what's being given to her, and she's yeah. doing well with it. And so, yeah, shout yeah out to I just wish you the sure. best, you and I want you to well. stay positive in everything you're doing, and don't be afraid of the limelight in any way. Not to say that you are, but like when it comes down to like the idea of people being mean on the internet or shitting on you or whatever the case may be, Everything is polarity. If you're not doing well, you're not going to have people saying bad things. So just mm -hmm. know that when you're doing well, it's going to come with it. It's like with LeBron James. People are going to, if, if people love the fuck out of him, it's only right that people hate the fuck out of him because yeah. life is about balance. So yeah, yeah I'm just, yeah, yeah, I'm excited already. that I met you. I'm excited to listen to everything you have going on. And if Snow likes you, then I think it's good because I do respect Aww. Snow's opinion about music. Yeah. Something nice about and me. And people yeah. in general. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. It took Jay to get here for Tony to say something I nice about I always say me. nice things about Snow. Now say you love me. No, I love <laughs> Snow. I love Snow. I always talk good about her behind her back, and that's the best type I of loyalty you can find. I really thick Thank skin you. already, and you're very mature. Yeah, like, and yeah. I respect it. And you're going to be here again and again. Values. We invite your mom. We invite mm. your family. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to bring them next time. Bro, bring them. My pool is heated. We got fucking sumo suits. I would not fight her because she's strong. We have basketball yeah. court. We got basketball court. She's gonna dunk on us. We got, we got chickens. Maybe, oh, maybe golf. And golf. I'm not good at golf. Maybe we could start practicing at golf, and maybe we could beat her. She's a good bowler too. I'm like, we should team up and beat Tony <laughs> at sports. That's what we should do. <laughs> no, but I love y'all. I'm gonna let you say the bad word. I mean the bad word. The last word. <laughs> she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, she's like, no, I'm gonna let you so say I the last word. Thank you so much for being here. But everybody, I love y'all. I'm gonna continue with the day ones, but I know you, you maybe gotta go home. Yeah. But <laughs> go ahead and let them know about yourself. And um, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Um, well, I just wanted to say thank you to Snow, obviously, for having me on here. And I feel like she's such a real one, you know, for standing up for me, you know, whenever things were a little bit hard on the internet and stuff like that. And I thought that was fucking cool because a lot of people in the industry are not like that. Um, I was super excited to be here today and I can't wait to come back with my parents. Yes. And I'm also excited because we are going to collab with people who have been asking me a bunch, like, we were going to collab, we are going to collab. <laughs> I want your last words to be, we're teaming up against Tony on this sport. What? <laughs> I want you to say what you have to say, but Are you, say. Are you being racist? <laughs> no. They're going to be on my team. Look, I'm pretty sure Lilo. Lilo I choose you. you. I choose no. you, my Lilo, yes. My yes. boy, racial like queen. up against you. <laughs> huh? Lilo looks like she want to team up against you, too. You already see where they're... Either team up or we can... Why I don't China? know, because... Oh, she's not doing You already see where the blacks are stuck, boy. Hold on. She said we could team up and we can know. what exactly? <laughs> Elaborate. Right. Anyway, right now, back to the Back to Jay. Sorry. All right, stop. Tell um, her. 
<laughs> yeah, by Snow's request, we're gonna be Tony. By <laughs> Snow's request, she is P, she, she's PR trained. Now she is used to motherfuckers <laughs> trying to put her in a corner and get a highlight out of her. Yeah, so, so don't try that, that shit again. <laughs> don't try no none of y'all podcasts, especially you fucking male podcasts that want to fucking <laughs> little tinglings. You know what I'm saying? By Quit Snow's it, okay? request. Okay, <laughs> quit it. Don't fuck with my girl right here because she already she knows what's up. We're all gonna up. fight Period. you. We all gonna right. fight you. Yeah, Tony, we're gonna beat your ass. Period. No tampons. Period. No tampons. Period. No tampons. Period. No tampons. Period. No Period. No tampons. 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 All right, for real. Last word, just tell them about it. Yeah, it was nice meeting all of you guys. You know, you guys are cool. Like follow some, her. Um, follow her. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, on her Instagram. Follow her. Anti social extra and, and, and J Rocks on everything else. Triple Show X. Her love. Um. Period. Yeah. What is real will prosper. Bye. <laughs> all right. Period. 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 Banana 